What's up everybody? HTG Brian and we are live right here on the YouTubes playing some Spider-Man as today is Wednesday. It's time to do some web flinging. Web flinging. You like that? Web slinging, web flinging. I still haven't ever really figured out what the best delivery is. I went with slinging in the title. Uh, and speaking of the title and the thumbnail and all that stuff, um, <laughs> I noticed that some of you noticed that the thumbnail isn't necessarily what is going to be happening today. Um, funny that you guys noticed that as um, in the last 24 hours, I've actually hunkered down um, and I took another crash course, uh, about t seven videos, uh, different lengths regarding thumbnail and best practices. Um, ironically, I learned a lot and I actually was uh, spending some time this morning thinking about how I'm going to start deploying that in future thumbnails for videos uh but then today i was like oh crap i got behind my mom called because it's my son's birthday today and she was like coming into town and planning things so he's like hey, blah, blah. and i got super sucked into that conversation and before i know it i was behind and then my computer like went wonky and i had to restart and then this one wasn't responding everything was just crazy this morning and i just got that thumbnail up and it was out the door and then and then of course a couple of you noticed that like that's old stuff however we're gonna work on improving that so um there is a possibility we might actually run into fisk again i don't know we'll see uh but we won't be doing it at a fisk tower as the thumbnail shows which uh is kind of almost clickbaity in the sense so i'm trying to work on making sure that that doesn't happen and so uh we'll see and you're gonna see a lot of like so a lot of the stuff i learned was stuff that's a little outside of my comfort zone um, and I won't go into big details on it or anything, but, uh, you know, just, just be in store for some, uh, some different thumbnails, some, some, uh, some difference, but, uh, all right, real quick, let's go ahead and check out the old Chatteroonie and see who was here early. I do believe, yes, it does go all the way back up because Kirsten was giving it to me. Well, it's about time because I was late. I actually had to get off the phone with my mom. My mom's notorious for like asking me a question and then going, okay, I got to go. I don't, I don't want to hear your answer. And, and today I was finally like, all right, I got to go, mom. Like she didn't rush me off the phone. And so uh, when I got off the phone, I was like, crap, it's 12 after. Uh, and I got it up. It only took me a second, but then my computer wasn't working either. So like there was a big delay. And of course, the way YouTube works now is that I can either manually fill in a bunch of info every time I play a game or if I'm playing a game that I've already played I can copy I can use the previous games infrastructure all the title and all that stuff and, and then but basically what it does is it creates a copy of that and allows me to go ahead and edit that so instead of you know episode six I can make it a seven right and then I don't have to type that whole name in there's no chance of it being different or incomplete um, and then, and then I go to the, the, you know, the big, the, the meat and potato, the details of the video. And I change all that that needs to be changed. Um, and then of course the thumbnail, but it wasn't letting me do it. And for whatever reason, when I actually say copy, YouTube takes about 30 seconds and it's like loading for like 30 seconds. And then it presents me with the new page, but it has an overlay on it. And that's where I get to do all the editing, but see the page has the chat and I can see the chat through the overlay. And before I can finish typing in the overlay, you guys are already in the chat. So YouTube needs to fix that. And, and I know there is a way like, because I set the videos up as public originally. So when I set the game up the first time I played Spider-Man, I made it public. So now when I copy that template, it's gonna always be public. now. Technically, I could set it to private or unlisted, and then at that point, like, it wouldn't be seen by you guys, uh, but but in this case, like, it's it's awesome to see you guys there, but it's also mildly frustrating that I don't even have the, I haven't even been able to make the changes to today's stream, and, like, Loki's there going, this is wrong, this is old, this is off, you know, like, and I'm like, give me a circuit to fix it, you know, like, but of course he, I think he knows now because he's done some YouTube, I don't know how he's done any streaming yet, Loki, have you done any streaming? I think you already bounced out, but uh, we'll have to figure that out, but anyway, so uh, Kirsten was first, Loki was a close second, he has, Loki's been trying really hard to be number one for like, I don't know, at least the last four or five streams, and he's been second, and I mean, it's been like, 
hey Brian, no! Like Loki responds instantly, no! I mean, he's like right there, but just not quite close enough. So, uh, and Paige was third today. So shout out to those three for being the early notification squad. Uh, we got Tim, AKA Brian, chilling. He was number four. I don't know if he counts as four and five. Uh, four and five did you see that four and five. i was thinking like one and two like both both of them count um gray what is up my dude gray is here i need to come up with like a hello hiya <laughs> or something uh what's up there gray good to see you today joey is in my ear right now what's up joey um he is still playing heat he's not taking my advice as quick as he should so it's taking a little longer uh anyways loki's commenting on the fisk stuff so yeah um in the future though it like probably not this week but next week i'm gonna really try to uh improve a lot of uh the thumbnail game uh it's gonna start with the streams and will eventually lead to uh like for example the next project or the next section of my current project will get a little revamping on the thumbnails but I, I like to keep a certain theme or consistency so if i'm like using like story screenshots or if i'm using you know if there's something I, I try to keep it consistent keep the lettering consistent so that everybody knows what they're looking for uh that they identify that it is a happy thumbs video because of the way the structuring is um and and, and so uh, but I'll continue to do that, but I'll be making some changes. So you guys might see some like some of this ugly mug and stuff on there. Just saying, just saying. Um, all right, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Adam, what's up? Look, dude, you know, I thought we might see you today. You're pretty excellent about recognizing milestones and birthdays and things like that. Um, and, and ironically, this morning I was digging through my shirt drawer and and the first shirt on top legit was my spider-man shirt but i just wore that recently and i didn't want to wear spider-man same one again this week so i went to the next one and it was the crater lake shirt and i thought huh it's reese's birthday i am playing spider-man i bet you i'm gonna see adam today so what's up adam thanks for stopping by i'll make sure to pass on the nice kind words to old reese uh he's doing good he's freaking big i mean he's he's like right here he's like right here on me and like when he walks through the house it's boom 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 you know he still hasn't learned to like walk on the balls of his feet he walks on the heels so it's boom 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 i mean he's big and, and like um you know he's got like this kind of 70s hairdo where he's kind of flipping his hair like you know it's kind of an in thing right now like steve the hair harrington from stranger things has kind of brought it back there's a lot of those 80s dudes out there and i would say reese go but he's huge and with this hair because it's kind of puffy he is like as tall as me which is insane which is insane but um you know things are good he's good um he's got some fun things going on he uh, actually has, he's on the bowling team for his high school and they do have bowling practice tonight so he's kind of bummed out about that but He's like secretly happy because there's a the guy that owns the bowling alley. He's kind of an older fuddy duddy dude, and and um, he uh, he likes to interact with the kids, and and he's good at it. Um, and and one of the things he does that like gets everyone's attention is he's one of those dudes that can talk like Donald Duck, and I can't, you know, like I can't do it, but he can like legit talk like Donald Duck. And so, like, the kids, like, somebody had a birthday, like, two weeks ago, and Reese caught wind that this dude could talk like Donald, and so he went and secretly went up to the dude and was like, hey, you need to sing happy birthday to so-and-so. And so, they found out that it was Reese, and then they asked when Reese's birthday was, and then he was like, oh, crap, because his birthday was only, like, a week away, and so, it's not for sure, but he's, like, super, like, this morning, he's like, man, I don't want to go to bowling tonight. And I was like, why not? He's like, because dude's going to sing happy birthday as Donald Duck. <laughs> I was like, that's pretty cool, dude. Like, I hope somebody records that because, you know, I, I, I don't I don't take him. He has uh, he actually catches a ride with one of his high school buddies. And, and so because it, it, it's like on the other it's actually in another town. We have uh, two cities sit right by each other, Salem and Kaiser. And it's actually in Kaiser. Salem has like two bowling alleys, but for some reason they designated that one as the home base. But it's the home base for a lot of schools, so it's kind of the central point, I guess. But anyways, uh, so we'll see how that goes. It could be fun, right? It could be could be totally fun. 
Uh, let's see here. Occupied was here early too. What's up, Occupied? Matt and Rob are both here. What's up, brothers? Uh, let's see here. Cows, welcome back. Uh, Karate Joe, Venom is behind you. Uh oh, that's not good. Let's see here. Poop Star, Michael. Uh, oh, <laughs> talking about Lamb Chop again, are we? Uh,. I, I, I do have some memories of, like, uh, I don't have, like, big-time interactions or anything, but uh, I definitely have memories. Um, let's see here. Connie was here early. And who else? Let's see here. Austin, what is up? Got a bunch of basically all the regulars. Yeah, and Adam, I finally caught up to the chat. You got the infamous shirt on. I so do. I so do. I guess Spider-Man telling Brian to hurry up. He's taking too much time. Yeah, pretty much, huh? He's like, get a hurry. Reese shares his birthday with Dr. Martin Luther King. Is it the 15th or is it the 17th? I always thought MLK's birthday was the 17th, which is my wife's birthday. So I always thought that they shared it. Um, and then, of course, as you guys probably remember, mine is the 20th. So uh, my wife's will be day after tomorrow. And then mine will be on Monday. Tobias, what is up? Welcome to the stream, my dude. Uh, Michael says, my friend is a pro basketball player. Awesome. Is, is he? Does he play in the NBA or is he... There's there's various levels of professional basketball now. Like there's all sorts of leagues overseas. Like China has a really big one that pays a lot of money to. Uh, probably the second best to the NBA. They say uh, there's a bunch of European leagues. Uh, I believe there's a Canadian basketball league too, but it's very minor. Um, the the WNBA just got a huge bump in their pay too, which is awesome. Now now the the players actually can receive up to fifty percent of the team's revenue that they make for you know the concessions and the seats that they sell and all the money that they make from advertisements as well, which basically means that the the women who play in the league are going to get like a twenty five to like a hundred percent increase in their pay. Which is awesome because it's all money that already existed. It's just going to go to the players versus the people who funded it. And, and, and there was probably some of that that had to do with like the organization's startup. I mean, the WNBA is still, I mean, it's been around, what, 25 years, 30 years? Um, so, you know, there's still probably monies that are being recopped from initial investments. I mean, millions, if not billions of dollars went into some of those franchises in, in regards to like renting and leasing facilities, clothes, branding, you know, all the stuff that comes with it. So, uh, but you'd figure by 25 years, they'd probably get the money. Usually they would say first four or five years, right? But anyways, uh, all good stuff. Let's see your Venom, what is up? Welcome to the stream. Uh, let's see here. Who else? Wow, Brian Reese turned 15 today. One year away. Be, yeah. So it's kind of cool. Today's like the only year or I, the only day in, in Reese's life. Oh, howdy Flanagan. What's up? Thanks for the sub. Welcome to the channel. Hopefully you enjoy our content. Um, it's gonna be the only day in his life where he is 15 on the 15th, right? That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. The golden birthday as Joey is reminding me. Now, mine's going to be kind of fun this year, too, because it's going to be like 1-2020. I, I don't know. That's kind of fun. Um, let's see here. Yes, Kirsten just realized, too, it's his golden birthday. Absolutely. So uh, pretty fun stuff. Pretty fun stuff. He's uh, he's growing up faster than I would uh, care for to happen. But, um, you know, I'm sure that's the way it is with all parents and and. Um, you know, ultimately, we were confident in our decision to only have one child. Uh, we have succeeded in that goal thus far. Uh, but now we're kind of like, damn it. <laughs> you know, like, it's kind of like, man. Uh, uh, so anyways, um, let's hear Malcolm. What's up? Welcome to the stream. Sash, what's good? Welcome, dudes. Got some latecomers. Now, you know, I messed up. I did not because of like all of the stuff that's going on. Um, I actually didn't set up the Twitter button, so I know some of you are probably like just finding out that we're live. Uh, let's see here. Well, you kind of have two if you count Drex. Uh, true, true. Not quite the same, although uh, there are very similar, um, you know, rewards that come from him. Um, you know, definitely three with Cutie. As Connie points out, that's true. Um, Man, uh, definitely, you know, and, and we, we certainly have a, a, an awesome little family. We're, we're happy. We're, we're, uh, we're filled with, with joy around here. Uh, we got snow last night a little bit. It was really icy, and we got to let Drex run. It was actually so icy, we opted not to go for our walk, which very rarely happens. Um, and uh, just it was kind of a danger thing. 
Um, and and so we um, let's see here. Let me see if I can tweet this out real quick. Uh, look at that. That's easy. I can do that every time. I don't even have to hook up a button. I got one right here. Um, but uh, we opted not to go walking just for you know, our, our I, I mentioned before, there's a lot of like 45 degree slopes on our walks that we've the path that we've chosen to walk on is kind of it's only a mile. It's one point three miles. And um, there's there's a, a there's a track at a, at a middle school that we walk around that's really flat. But that's like we walk all the way down. We will actually walk up a hill to the top, walk around the cul-de-sac, come all the way down the hill. Then it flattens out and then it goes down another tier, like like 100 yards down and then flattens out for like 50 yards and then down another. It's almost kind of like San Francisco. I, I, I mean, just to give you perspective. Um, and then we hit the bottom and there's the track and we walk a half a loop around the track and then we come right back up that same kind of staircase. Um, and then we finish our house is actually right at the top of the peak. Uh, well, not quite the peak because we actually go higher up and around a different way, but we come down and it's right there. It's awesome. Uh, but because of that, we opted not to go because I, I have terrible traction on the shoes that I have and I've opted not to buy shoes this winter. I thought I can get there one more winter and then I'll buy some, you know, in the summertime when they're on the cheap. Um, so we'll see how that goes, but we opted not. But we let him run. We let him rocket dog in the backyard. And he was phew, 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 phew. It was so funny. But like we were worried because everything was frozen, extra hard, extra slippery. But yet at the same time, he was like licking everything and sniffing, eating everything. We're like, dude, it's just frozen, man. It's just it, whatever. It's grass inside. Yeah, he didn't quite figure it out. Uh, let's see here. Football. What is up? I made a video about Marvel characters that are on Netflix. Are right, going back to UCM earlier. Interesting. Uh, watch he says i have spoken i feel like that should that should have hashtag i have spoken at the end <laughs> uh hey thanks ben i'll pass that on to reese uh wow connie said she had four inches of snow it's all ice today Ew, that's gross uh grace says he started the new game plus well good for you there's no trophy or anything related to that um is there there's no new game plus trophy for this one is there we covered this yesterday for god of Oh, that's right. There's the DLC. Thank you. Thank you. You got your own band hammer now, huh? Uh, let's see here. All right. So, yes, there is. There's a trophy, but it's not related to the platinum. So, like, you can 100% the game. They just added, and, and there's just the one trophy, right? Or is there a couple? Two. Complete the new game plus playthrough and complete a playthrough on ultimate difficulty. Are you going for both of those, Gray? Or are you going to play through it a third time and try to get that one? Because if you're going to make the effort for this guy, you might as well play for this guy. Uh, what's the, what's the heck this no sharing. I'm selfish. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, so uh, what else? Is there anything else? There was, it seemed like there was something else I wanted to cover before we jumped in. But, I mean, shoot, it's been 15, 20 minutes already. We are probably ready to get some gameplay. Um, I am at 68%, and I do believe that it, that's not just the story progress. I believe that is the overall game, like the campaign itself, like the full 100%. So, in theory, a lot of this is cleanup. I mean, I do have some story and some side quests left. But I've been doing all the side quests as they pop up. I've already pinged off all of the research centers. I've done all of the black cats. I've done all of the landmark photos. I've done all of the pigeons. Uh, I believe I got all of the Taskmaster challenges complete last time too. Um, yep, I got the trophy for it. And so uh, there are going to be some things like, uh, you know, I got to do some thug crimes and some demon crimes um but i mean for the most part i've got most of the stuff now joey has just asked a very good question what do i need trophy wise well obviously i need the plat i need to unlock all skills why do i do it what way no Well, yeah, but that confuses me on where they are. 
That's why. I'm just used to the I'm used to the the functional order. I get confused when I start my, like my routine is that I need to you know, um, and they each throw right. Like if that works for you, by all means, um, you know I still have a handful. Uh, complete all faction crimes in a district. In a district, I guess I haven't done that yet. Purchase all suits. That's going to be probably one of the last ones I get. Now I have been focusing on getting at least the middle tier or the third tier of my challenges um and, and so hopefully i'll have a majority of what i need but i think i bought a lot of the suits the other day and i was still quite a ways away from having but i still got lots to do yet too um i also need to complete act two and complete act three so i still i, I think i'm right at the end of act two like right now am i not pretty close defeat lee defeat electro Defeat Scorpius. So those are all the bosses related to Act 2 and 3. So those will kind of come simultaneously. Uh, and then, let's see here. Knock together 10 pairs of enemies with trip mines. I've got at least 4 or 5 of those. So I, I, I wasn't even... A, I wasn't even aware of that until last week. And then you, Joey, got it. While while I was streaming, he was playing. And he picked that trophy up. And, and I think I've got, like... I mean, I, I know i got 4 or 5 at least. So... I'm guessing five or less. Uh, complete all side missions. I, I don't know how many are left, but I would imagine that, um, you know, we've got a chunk left, probably 10, 15, uh, because each act has so many and we're only through act one and a half, two. Um, uh, let's see here. Complete 10 vehicle takedowns. That is that is that from the, uh, the thug crimes when I'm chasing down, like, the bombs and such? Or is that... Hmm, okay. What what about greeting ten citizens? How do I go about doing that? Nearby officers, please proceed to the West Village. Oh, look at that. No no no, sorry, sorry, sorry. I said look at that. As soon as I I, I was following your directions, I dropped down onto the street, and as I dropped down there was a like one of the bomb missions with, with the trucks and the... So I'm going to go ahead and whip this up real quick. Because I'm pretty sure I need to do this one for this area. I didn't really look, to be honest with you. I might already have these ones done, but... And, and FYI, I am going to have to adjust my volume for you because I cannot hear a word you're saying right now. Just, just... Uh, let's see here. All right, how about... Say something. Get up there. Oh, guys, come on. Guys, parade, okay, 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 gotcha. Stop it, stop it, like it's hot. Come on, get back there, get back there, get back there. Uh oh. Bomb in the truck. Gotta neutralize it. Yeah, boy. Demons have backup waiting just up the street to make me think I'm winning and then dash my hopes, right? <laughs> yes, it is. I, I have it. I didn't, I didn't get into it though. Yeah. All right, so I'm walking around the street now. I gotta look for icons above their heads. You said? Okay. Do the hand thing. They're saying. Oh, here we go. I got one. I got one. There we go. High five. Low five. What's good? Looks like I got another one, maybe? You got something to say? You want to say that? Hello? You? Yeah, yeah. So there's one. I don't think I've done that at all yet. 
And can I pretty much farm it on like one corner, or do you think I should probably move around a lot? Shayos, hey, do you think there will be Lego Marvel Super Heroes 3? I sure hope so. I, I would actually prefer they went like a Guardians of the Galaxy route or something first. Um, you know, I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm definitely guilty of not knowing a ton of information beyond like the movies and what we've seen in like a lot of the TV shows. So, like, I mean, there may be some cooler stuff out there available, but I mean, I, I definitely feel like it would be awesome to see, uh, you know, like a whole Guardians of the Galaxy story. Uh, we've seen DLCs and things. There's definitely been moments. Uh oh, how's the YouTube looking out there for you guys? I'm getting a warning again. YouTube is warning me. Let's see. I'm getting pretty solid. I'm getting solid stats from my stream software. It's saying that it's good there. So it must be either. Yeah, I'm seeing that. Yeah, I uh, don't. Uh, I, I checked before the stream started to make sure that there wasn't anything going on on my computer downstairs. Uh, like Reese often leaves Steam open, and Steam will often update and do stuff. And Norton antivirus could be added or something right now too. There's no telling when it'll upload or update things there. But uh, hope there will be a Lego Marvel Super Heroes 3. I can't wait for Spider-Man 2 the video game. Yes, what's up there, AJ? Welcome to the stream. It's good now. Hello, Brian in the chat. All right. Uh, all right. Currently, it says the bit rate. It's weird. It's saying it's less than half of the bit rate of what my software says it's pushing out. So the numbers aren't matching up. I'm getting like 3,000s, 28, 29, 2900s, and it's saying I'm getting like 15 to 1800s here. It says it's back to good, though. And it didn't spell it G-U-D, so I think we're okay. All right, so maybe I shouldn't focus too much on this trophy right now. Is that Kevin Smith? Oh, I just saw a big hockey jersey. I thought that might have been, might have been our guy. Did I, is that Kevin Smith? Oh, no. Man, there's a lot of dupes here, man. What's going on with that? With as much memory and power these guys have, uh, you'd think that they would have actually had more than, like, seven character molds. Hey, there he is again. There's two of them. Twins, Basil! Oh, wait, one's got a hat on. One doesn't have a hat on. But they're the same dude. Like, what? It's Matt and Rob. <laughs> uh, wait a minute. I'm seeing all sorts of... Man, this is crazy here. There's everywhere. Uh, I hear shots being fired, too. Let's go, let's go worse check this out over here. Yeah, boy. Hold tight, officers. The web-swinging cavalry's here. <laughs> All right, one more, one more toss. Twenty aerial combo hits, huh? There's one. Uh, let's see here. Maybe refresh the browser. Yeah, my my. I, I'm getting actual warnings from YouTube, but so um, it's not just like it's looking funny to me. Like I'm actually being told that it's not good data. Um, but if you guys are, uh, if it's catching up and it's all fine, I'm not gonna worry about it. Uh, let's see here. Shows Brian. Do you maybe know how to solve a bug in Lego Marvel Super Two in the eight Gwenpool mission that Ant Man stays in the vent? Uh, I, you know, I, I'm not remembering that off the top of my head, but if, um, if, if he's doing that, have you tried restarting your system? That's always one thing I recommend. It sounds really silly that, like, you know, but if you've been playing it, like, maybe you, you've, like, tried it and you got stuck and you, like, left the level and maybe went and played something else and loaded back in and, and, and it's still doing it. Ant-Man's getting stuck. Uh, then, then maybe, you know, try restarting your system. Like, you know, cancel out of the game, make sure your data's all saved, of course, before you do. Uh, leave the game and then go ahead and uh, you know try to reload it and see if that helps at all. Um, Excuse me. You know that, me. that often will fix issues like that. Like if it's not supposed to load in or happen like you're experiencing it, often a restart will uh, will fix that. Now uh, you mentioned Spidey Sense a minute ago. Can I Spidey Sense to help see people that are interested or no? No. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm not getting I'm not getting the love that I would love to get. So let's uh let's go. I got the my the main mission is right up above me right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just like hang out for a second and see if any of these guys will acknowledge me. There's people everywhere. Acknowledge me! Look at me! Say something! Sounds like shots are being fired again. Oh, we got another... Jeez. We got some more turmoil happening. What's going on here? Is it up on the roof? Ooh, buddy. Oh, hi, guys! So are you guys terrorists or criminals? Because I can't keep it straight. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> trying to God of War him. Oh, get up there. <laughs> Ooh, ouchies. So, yeah. Yeah. Silver stable ought to put me on the payroll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I am getting these demon crimes done. So I needed, I need two more of those. All right, let's go back down on the ground. Woo! All right. Everyone's like, whoa, the ripple effect is real. Uh, check your playback settings, too. Uh, you talking to me? My playback? Please? Mine are all, like I said, my, mine was, like, I was getting choppiness and stuff, but I was also being told by YouTube uh, that I was not getting the right data. I, I don't know if a browser refresh would have helped that or whatever, but... And it's super blur. Oh, that's why you're saying, because Joe's having issues with the blur. Yeah, I would definitely check the playback settings. Oh, show. Sorry, I, I, for some reason I didn't see that. My eyes are selectively seeing things today. <laughs> today. Always. Uh, let's see here. Dude, say that to my face. Say that to my face. Oh, look at me. Oh, you okay? Alright, come on. I want somebody else to, like, acknowledge me so I can talk to them, and then I can have two. Should be good now. Good. Hopefully it's all good for everybody. You may have been watching, uh, you know, you may be a minute or two behind or something, too, and you may have been in that series where it was a little funky. And I don't know what's up with that. You know, computers often function differently. Like, I can set a delay for, like, my camera and stuff, but sometimes the computer will be running background stuff, and it'll have different computing power available. You know, like, so yesterday I may have had nothing running in the background, and it may have had 100% of its computing power. Today there may be something else happening you know that i'm not even aware of windows updates or you know something happening um and it's hard to adjust for that so some days like it'll be spot on and the next day it won't be and there's really no way to change that unless i mean if i shut up all updates all internet access and everything, but i wouldn't be able to stream and do anything so it's kind of a catch-22 hey look at me say something What chair am I using? It's a clutch. Uh, this was one of the only brands available. It's, I was funny that you mentioned that because I about two a year and a half, two years ago, something like that, when I picked this guy up, there was nowhere local. We we live in the capital city of Oregon, and and we, we are like in the Stone Ages with a lot of stuff. We are so far behind when it comes to some of the technology, like, like fiber optics in the ground for like cable. We don't have that yet here. How do we not have that yet? We're the capital. Like, anyways, so there's all sorts of things like that that we miss out on. Okay. And um, ultimately, uh, when I was looking for my chair, everywhere we went, they had like the standard office chairs, but nobody had any of these kind of chairs. Went to Fry's Electronic, which is that huge like out, like warehouse, Costco type place. Um, and, uh, they had these chairs. This is the only. They actually only had this one. This was the floor model they had built for the demo, but it was brand new. They just got it out like two days ago, so it was like maybe one other butt, two other butts, and sat in it. Not many. Um, Hello. And uh, yeah, it's been good to me. But now I'm seeing that they got them at like Office Depot, Office Max. I mean, you're seeing these style of chairs, not necessarily the clutch brand, but like. DX Racer or uh, Omega is another one that's popping up a lot. And, oh wow! Um, so 
Yeah, I, I recommend them. I, I, to be honest with you, I think they're all made in the same factory. As long as they're the same shape, like you're getting more or less the same chair. Some of them have the lumbar support pillows. I don't know if you can see that or not. Some of them don't. Um, you know, those are some of the small features. Some of them have the headrest, some of them don't. Beyond that, they're basically the same chair. Probably made in the same facility, just stitched a little differently. Amazing. Uh, and maybe I'm totally wrong. Maybe there's a hundred facilities making them, but I mean, they're, there's like three models, right? They're just different branding on them. We don't know. It works beautifully. Uh, come on, take a look. If you are looking into them too, I would definitely uh, be aware that there are different sizes depending on your body type. You know, you may need larger or smaller, and that may uh, increase or decrease the price as well. Um, yeah, my, my Windows update totally screwed over my main computer. Luckily, it worked itself out, but, like, none of my icons were showing. Nothing was working. I was clicking, and things weren't happening. And, and that's part of the reason why I was late today, because that was freaking me out. And although it wasn't relevant to the stream itself, like, this TV is, I flip it over to the PlayStation versus using the computer, it was still freaking me out. All right, diagnosis began. Failed component. All right, we got to we got to fix the motor cortex. I got to get two right now. I got voltage of eight. We're gonna have to take a little bit of a detour. It looks. Um, so basically, it looks like I need a minus one and a couple of elbows. Uh, so if I remove this piece, bring in this guy and rotate him like so. Put a minus one in there and then. Take this guy up top, and then replace him with one of these zingers. See if that worked. Additional components require attention. Uh, let's see here. Is Chris Connors in the game? No. I don't He's know. I thought. My other buddy has a GT racing one, and I think I'm gonna be uh, go that route. It's like Amazon go. I, yeah, I don't know uh, anything about, like I said, the GT racing, uh, you know, there, there's definitely some that are like a hundred bucks. There's some that are like 500 bucks. Again, I don't know if there is much difference. Uh, and I'm being uh, told, notified here too, that Connors is not in the game. All right, so I got five, I need five, so I need to drop at three. Um, I definitely got some stuff to work with. Uh, I can go up top to, can't go through there. I could go here though. And then place one of these guys. So we're at two, so I need five to stay alive. All right, so let's go like this. Um, all right, and then we'll go ahead and put this guy here. Oh, yeah, that's right. We can't do that. Okay, so I'd have to go here. I'm just placing those for temporary purposes right now. Uh, oh, no, nope, that's not... Oh, wait, I do have one more. I do have one more. Ooh. All right, so actual voltage to target five, so I need to up my ante quite a bit, yo. Uh, do I not have any more? Okay, yeah. Hope that stabilizes. Damn! Come on, come on. Saj says around one year ago, I walked into DT class yeah, at school, and the teacher cascading. was in a clutch chair. It was quite funny. That'd be cool though. A little bit of street cred for your teacher there, huh? All right, so we're at eight. We need five, so we need... What's that? I, you're saying plural. I only have one on the stage. I, I'm not sure what... <laughs> Are you behind, perhaps? <laughs> He's telling me rotate the red bars, and I'm like, bars, <laughs> bars. 
<laughs> What's happening? <laughs> All right, so can I uh, drop it? And get over? Uh, can't I? I can't. That one's locked. I can't change that one. Huh? Uh, I can't change that one either. Okay, so we have to do some redirecting. Let's take it through. Oh, how do I? Hmm. All right. I gotta drop. Uh, actually, let's use. No, that's not gonna work. This one will work. Come on. Yeah, boy. God, look at this. One after another after another. Ooh, yeah, we don't want them to have seizures. No memory loss, please. Short term or long term. This is bad. Yeah, the Titans look good. I, I The Titans are big, though, too. That was one thing I liked about this. I am very limited on my space. That's probably not going to be a thing that most people have to worry about. But I have stuff right behind me, and I have stuff right in front of me. So I have, like, a very narrow path. And you guys would actually laugh at how coincidental the path. Like, I, every night when I get out of my chair, I have to turn, right? And I get out of my chair, because otherwise I can't, can't get out. There's no room. Um, could be affecting other parts and then I have to slide the chair all the way down past everything and then I have like this little pocket on the other side so I have a, a, a dresser right here with a bunch of work stuff and it goes right on the other side of my dresser and it fits in the corner over there and it's out of the way and I can get to my other dresser and my bed and all that stuff so room is a factor here. that might not always be the case though might not always be the case see here that's what happens when you play your own game while you should be paying attention to your boss Joey oh <laughs> He's not even watching the chat, so I had to read it to him. Don't worry. We're close. I'll keep at it. I said watching the chat, boy. Go. Go. You sure you're okay? <laughs> it's all good. Thank you, Peter. For, for everything. You welcome. <laughs> oh my gosh, I want to talk about something. But I can't. I shouldn't anyways. It's highly inappropriate. I'll just say this. And let's not get in if let's wait let's wait till the cutscene's over. Uh oh, oh let's wait. Remember what I've done. We are all safer now than we have ever been. Liar! You have no idea what you're in for. Alright, cutscene's over. I just shared the full story with Joey. He is speechless right now. I'm sure he's Googling because he probably does not believe me. Because it's not... When I read, I read it and was like, no. No way. What? I should check on Miles. No. Hi, Miles. Ugh, everywhere I look, it's true. I can't talk about it. And I don't want to get into detail because it is... Questionable. But if you <laughs> if you've watched the news in the last two or three days or seen like stuff on the internet, rather it's not really breaking news. There is a particular candle that has gone on sale that is also sold out. <laughs> oh man, I don't I don't even know what to say or think. And Miles, I'm proud of you too. Anytime you want to talk, just call. Thanks, Peter. Gotta go. Did you look it up? Did you look it up? All right, later. Did you try to order one? <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, moving, moving right along, moving right along. If you know, you know, and 
So there's, there's, okay, there's a few of you that should just stay away from this topic 100%. <laughs> like, there's a few of you that should just not do any Googling or anything and definitely don't bring it up in the chat. Um, I, I know I'm going to get a giant ew from one of you. Um, but, I mean, it's true. It's true. And that's what's mind boggling. Mind boggling. No suitcases, just uninterrupted sleep. Yes. Yes. Oh, you are a party animal. But hey, whatever floats your cruise ship. Yeah. Or doesn't. You've earned it. Drex is doing excellent. Thank you for asking, Adam. He's, uh, you know, he's still young, so he's got way more energy than we know what to do with. What, what we're figuring it out. Uh, we've got his treats and his food pretty much dialed in. We've got his bathroom times pretty much figured out i mean there's always the occasional oopsie but um for the most part like it's pretty solid um you know he's sleeping through most of the night he gets up pretty early he gets up like 4 35 o'clock which is earlier than we'd really you know if he was like 5 36 that would be perfect so we're only about a half an hour to an hour off of what we really would really want or need uh you know and all in all he's i mean he's just great he's such a loving dog and he we go to the dog parks and stuff, and he just he's the greatest player. He doesn't get into any trouble. He's never the dog mounting other dogs or biting or barking. Like, he is just, he is such a good dog. He really Spider -Man. is. Spider-Man, I've got a lot more missing students. And he knows it, too. So he gets spoiled. All vanished at once. But uh, it's been good. Did Joey say a bad name. word? Uh, I don't know. President Did he? Showed up in Probably. Photo string. We're talking about Joey, right? Like, Brooklyn this Joey? Probably. <laughs> uh, all right. Oh, how'd you guess? How'd you guess? Mm. All right, so it just told me where to go, and I didn't hear him. I, I know that's the bridge. Is that the Manhattan? Is that this bridge? Yes, I know. That's what I was going to say. There's definitely more that's than definitely one. Definitely the Brooklyn Bridge in the background. The Brooklyn Bridge. Bro so, okay, so here's where. Damn it! I wish Nick was here because Nick knows New York way well. I I don't know New York at all. Um, Gotta head to the southeast. Edge so, of the southeast. Island. So I was right. Yes, one of those bridges. Anyways, it might not be the right one, but I'm at least heading to the right corner of the map. Sweet. The P word. What's P? Piss. Pringles. Piranha? <laughs> I got some other ones there. A little bit more on the for sure side of being inappropriate. <laughs> the Bridge is in the southeast corner uh, of the island. Well, and I mean, I, I don't know, like, I mean, apparently you maybe said this in the chat or something? I, I can't imagine that. You didn't type it or something. I, Verbally saying something, I, I could see that happening at any point, but uh, <laughs> uh Joey could talk about the game with four arm. Can you talk about the game with four arm or not? What? I don't know what's going on. You go you better address that. I don't know what's happening. I've got web slinging to do. All right, I see the bridge. I see the one we're after. This isn't the right bridge. But I'm at it next. Major disturbance, vicinity of Brooklyn Bridge. Backup requested. Oh, I have no I idea. Hurry. Who knows? He is very fixated on that for some reason. That must I don't. Be them. It's weird that we are associated with that, like fantasy. <laughs> like I, I don't know what else to call it. Like it's weird. Oh, the secret, Connie. Trust me. Like this is one of those things that, like, I could see you, like, <laughs> maybe, maybe being extremely disappointed in me and not even speaking to me for like a week if you saw this. So. Uh, yes, it, 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 I'm trying to like, like, like I said, I want nothing more than to talk about it because what it is is absolutely insanity. It's insane. So, but, but I mean, I, I can't. It's like you know, even uh, I just you know, it's just one of those things that I probably shouldn't speak of. Uh, I'm surprised Kirsten hasn't said something yet. I figured she's like the queen of like discovering what I'm, like she can break. 
Like, if anybody ever needs to decode anything I'm trying to say, she knows. Does she know? I, have, I haven't seen her comment or anything. Oh, I know what candle you're talking about. Yep, okay, okay. So, seriously, Kirsten, like, what? What? Like, okay, so, like, the concept of it, what? Then, like, it's sold out? What? <laughs> oh, man. And, and I, I don't know if you read, too, there's, like, a... Uh, a description of the, the there's a description of it right i'll just say that uh oh we're getting messed up stuff again all right um how's is, is stream okay okay all right i'll be right back guys i'm gonna go try to see what's going on. i'm gonna actually shut down my other computer so I, i'll be right back i don't think that's what it is but i honestly don't know All right, I'm back. It says excellent condition now, or connection. I don't know why I always say condition. My brain reads connection as condition right there. Um, <laughs> okay, so Connie is familiar too. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Um, I was just telling Joey, what about that romantic, that that hopeless romantic guy that lights a couple of candles for his lady and puts a <laughs> she what? <laughs> I just don't even know what to do. I just don't. Oh my gosh. Oh, like seriously, you guys. Like, I'm in stitches. I am in stitches. Oh. Uh. <laughs> oh, I'm just like. Ew. Okay, so I'm, that's the twice the tanker exploded. So I've blown it up twice. What? But is it real? So here's the thing, Gray. It, it, it's, it, it, it is real. I don't know if the connection, I mean, I, it's not like, I, like I said, like I said, this is, so, I, I have so many questions and like at the same time, like I don't want answers. You know what I mean? Like, oh man, I just don't even know. Yeah, I, I the only thing I know for sure is it's definitely not something I will be purchasing as a gift for anybody. Although it would be hilarious, like Joey gets a gift in the mail and he's like, "What's this?" I 
Thank you. Oh. Get off my tanker truck. In case you're uh. confused, flammable and inflammable mean the same thing. Well, Kirsten, you understand, like, it's supposed to, like, it's not just, like, a generalization. That's, like, that was, like, custom. Like, that's, like... Sounds like a typical college student. Me! You know, like, I don't... I just don't... Uh, some of the comments and stuff I've seen on... Like... <laughs> no, not, not like that. More like... Like, like just the self, like the hubris, right? Like the, uh, the, <laughs> the unbelievable. Nah. Let's see here. Possible poop or fart. It's not. No, dude. It's, it's, it's worse than that, Austin. It's worse than that. It's way more personal than that. I'll just, I'll let, I'll let you draw your own conclusions on that. Um, yeah. Oh, man. And it's weird, too, because, like, I've always kind of seen the celebrity involved as a, you know, fairly high class, uh, very, very respectable. Like, you know, she's always kind of been, like, one of those forbidden, like, uh, she's not, she's not a very... Dominant social presence. She's not one of those. Um, you know, ironically, I, I, after she played uh, a, a particular role, siding with Jack Black, um, I, I have always kind of like I don't know. I always had this like weird soft spot for her. like like she was who her character was or something, and like um, you know, I've always just really endeared her. And when I saw this, it was just like, wait, what? This has got to be somebody putting her on blast or something else. But no, it's it's hers. And apparently it's her company. And this is the second time something like this has happened with her company. I, I didn't hear about round one, but I did read a little bit about it. It was very interesting, to say the least. But, um... Spider-Man. We have a Connie, because it's sold out, that's why. You know, like staff. Lee has an army out there. Any leads? Yeah. Someone recognized the quarterback, Brad Davis. Posted a picture. Hold on. That looks like So so I saw I saw like the price next to ESU. The the candle's like the size of my yerba drink here. And it's selling for 60 euros or 65 euros, which is like 65 is US dollars for a candle. Right That's a lot for any candle, regardless of what it looks like, smells like. I mean, if it dances around the room or it cleans up after you or something, that's a good deal. But if it's just a candle Washington Square and you light it and it ESU. burns. I don't know, man. Oh, all right. Um. This is across the street from ESU. ESU. So where is ESU? ESU. ESU. I know, but where is that? Like, help me out. Like, where is it? Midtown Hell's Kitchen? Is it Greenwich? Is it Chinatown? Is it Financial? I'm looking for, like, a big building or campus-like structure, and I'm not really seeing, like, anything that looks open enough. Now, granted, I get it. It's New York. Everything's crammed into Greenwich. Why am I not seeing any research stations? I'm in Greenwich currently. I know you're not seeing that on the stream, but I am. And um, I'm not seeing any of the research. I only have the uh, Octavius Industries and the police department. So I'll just work. Am I? Oh, well, I just warped out of there. That sucks. <laughs> See? That's how awesome I am. I just made him laugh so hard he coughed. That looks like Washington. So okay, so I was basically there and where Arch. I think this is next to ESU. Mm. I like my version better. This is I, li I like my version better. <laughs> uh, no. All right. Look at you double checking now. Paranoia will destroy ya. I'm messing with Joe, you guys. 
he said something naughty. And then he goes, wait a minute, I'm not live, right? They can't hear me, right? Oh, look at that. I even marked. I even marked. That's awesome. Like, I marked the actual spot on accident. I didn't even mean to. They're like a pack of wolves. I Did you see, see that wolf, that little dies. baby wolf pup that was, like, howling for the first time? Like, that was actually pretty awesome. Oh, yeah. How many players on a roster again? For you? Mm, that's nice. Yeah, I'm trying to do them as I see them. <laughs> Google the actors. Pepper Potts. Huh? Listen to you guys. Yeah, I just, uh, it's, uh, it's kind of crazy to me. Well, she, yeah, not really. I mean, not, I mean, she's contracted for the movies, but she's, that's her own business. It's through, like, the Goop or something? That's, that's like, a website called the Goop or a business called Goop or something like that? I wish they'd been this persistent against the state. Nah. She doesn't even remember. How many times has she not even been, you know, and she wasn't technically. I mean, you know, it was all Marvel before. She, the, the Disney's only a recent act, you know what I mean, acquiring, so. Because, I mean, most of her appearances took place. I would say 90% of her appearances took place before it was Disney property, right? I mean. It is now, it all is over, but I mean, th those oh, contracts crazy. weren't written and such, like... And look at Disney! You're not the first one this happened to. Good news is, doctors check the others and they don't have any lasting effects. Oh, thanks. I don't know how to repay you. Beat the Wildcats on no, Saturday it's only been like the last two years, man. Schooled! What is that? I just got a trophy called Schooled. It, it says... Complete all the corrupted student missions. Yay. Look at that. Front flip. Front flip. Front flip. Front flip. Front flip. Front flip. Back flip. Ooh. Right there with you, buddy. Alright, so that was fun. Fun, fun, fun on the Autobahn. Anybody ever listen to Kraftwerk? I bet you I bet you Gray's heard of Kraftwerk. They're from uh well, close to him, not necessarily from that area but like I, I think they're from germany i think is where they're actually from but i think uh they have a song about the autobahn i love crap i actually grew up my dad is my dad doesn't realize this but he actually really influenced me to like rap and hip-hop music because a lot of his music that he listened to was basically hip-hop before it existed i mean he was listening to a lot of like techno or synthesizer based music with lots of sampling and remixes and uh you know drum beats and things like that like Kraftwerk was listened to a lot when i was growing up um you know and a lot of other stuff too like thomas dolby and things you know there's various music that i, I listened to for sure but uh, you know Kraftwerk was i loved it because there was a couple of songs that like you know just had these really cool robotic yes 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 oh no like all these things, bah, bah, uh, 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 you know, like that stuff was awesome to me. And like, it was pretty family friendly. There's a couple of songs that might not have been, but um, I love it. Like, I would love to see them live. I, I don't think the whole crew is even all still around. I think one of the guys died, but uh, I like Kraftwerk's on my playlist for sure. And I listen to a lot of it randomly. Like sometimes I'll just geek out on it and just listen to a whole days yeah, worth of craft work but i don't know how i feel about you running this place all by yourself connie i searched for the same thing care. actress and candle i wouldn't do it i, I warned you sold out what no. but the I I know couldn't have done what is what is bergamot that is it? <laughs> That's not that was one of the either. things that was referenced bergamot i don't know what that is and it scares me to so, know how are things with mj well, it's uh yeah you know, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's 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 complicated 
Honestly, of course he does. Everybody knows that. They're actually coming to Port or uh, the U.S. They're getting ready to go on a big tour, like 14 touch. cities, 15 cities. Especially when we were your age. So, are you honest with her? Does she know the real you? Hey, turn it up. I want to hear this. A spokesperson for the police has confirmed that this was the truck carrying the device hmm. used in the Grand Central Terminal attack. Oh, it never ends. Peter? So I'm going to try to do something, you guys. I don't know how it's going to go over. And it's probably going to be a terrible decision. But as you guys know, I've been struggling with like this concept of me destroying my wheel, one of my wheels on my car on Christmas Day. I ground it right into the curb and it like a third of the wheel is like missing. And although that's not usually a bad thing, my wheels are black. And the material is like a white, shiny, silvery. So like with all the black finish gone, it's like it like glows in the dark, basically. I just hope the devil's breath is still there. And so I'm having a hard time with that, but I came to the realization that Reese is 15 today. He is currently eligible for a driver's permit. He has not studied or won't be taking the test anytime in the next few days or whatever, but it's coming. Like this year will likely be the year and he will likely drive my car sometimes. And so I thought, you know, there's no reason. So, so essentially, I don't know if I ended up telling you the wheels I ended up falling in love with, they cost about $1,300 just for the wheels. Now, I got tires about a year ago, and I put about 5,000 miles on those tires, 4,000 miles. So not a ton, but enough that they're not brand new anymore. And if I got like a $2,500 or $1,500 set of wheels or whatever, um, that I basically wouldn't want to put used tires on them. So I was going to have to buy a 900. So it was going to cost me about, you know, $2,300, $2,400 to get these wheels. And then the possibility of Reese ruining them was, you know, there. And I didn't want to get mad. So I decided I was not going to go that route. So I've been looking at, like, budget wheels and, and, like, used ones and stuff. And I actually found a set that I really like that's on sale that has tires on it for 800 bucks. They're the color I want. They're not the right wheel pattern. They're a reputable company and all that stuff. So I've been thinking about getting those. But I've been kind of holding out, waiting to see if he'll drop the price. And ultimately, I'm going to let him slip by the wayside and not get them. And what my goal is, is I'm going to start saving. And probably in, if, I, if I do it right and things go in my favor... In about three months, I should have what I need. Because I've already been saving, right? Like, Because I knew I was going to buy the wheel. So in about three months, I'll have what I would need to purchase a kit. Now, this is where it gets crazy. Because the kit costs about 2400 bucks. It goes to my car, and it would ultimately make my car <laughs> astronomically faster. Which I really would like. Um, the issue I have with it, though, is that it's also going to cost roughly 800 to to $1,000 to have it installed. And I want to have it done professionally. I know a couple of guys that would help me do it in my garage. Ah, it's too much. It's too much money and, and stuff involved to, to take a chance on that. So, um, the devil's breath is gone. I'm, I'm like debating on whether I should do it. But then if I if I upgrade, then I'm going to have to like get a new clutch because my clutch won't be able to handle the power. Uh, that'll cost another four or five hundred dollars. Uh, so it like becomes a series of like spending and. But I mean, I would, I, I, would be really happy with the outcome. Good. What about the devil's breath? Sable's handling. So I'm having a hard time. Do you trust them? Do I have a choice? Uh oh. What age? Uh, Ben, we don't have like a set age on it. I mean, the content there that we provide is ultimately very similar to the content we play here. Like, I'm not cussing up a storm. I'm not playing naked or anything like that. Like, it's pretty straightforward and, and easy. Uh, the only difference is the games. Like, the games that are being played are often, like, mature rated or teen based. So, um, you know, that's basically the only thing. So, it, it's up to you and your discretion if you are already watching, you know, for example, you know, games that are rated M or movies that are, you know, rated R, then there should be no conflict with you watching the Mature Channel at all. Um, 
if you aren't watching that kind of stuff, then I would definitely use some discretion in, in what is okay for you. Um, you know, and what, like, you know, your surroundings and, and, and like, your parents or whatever, right? Um, just want to make sure that everything is uh, being followed. Now, as far as that goes, we don't have any specific age or anything. It's just simply... Uh, Mature, basically, so we can play some different games, but not chase away uh, the people who don't want to see that stuff. Because, like, for example, even we we got at least one guy in the chat today. I won't single him out, but uh, we got at least one guy in the chat that doesn't really care for a lot of the shooter games and stuff. And uh, you know, but he likes us. He likes hanging with you guys, and so he shows up for as many streams that he can for games that are relevant and interesting to him. And I think that's awesome. And the same rules would apply to anybody on here or the other channel, too. Like, whatever works for you guys. Um, we're going to upload pretty much every day. Usually we take Sundays off. Lately we haven't been. We've been uploading on Sundays. Um, you know, so uh, you know, it's just up to you guys and how much you can and want to watch. Like, we'll be here. We're going to continue uploading. You know, some things may change at some point, you know, like... We might move, or uh, you know, something may happen where my internet is different, or my availability changes. Uh, you know, there's always a possibility that, like, at some point soon, you know, we're we're kind of in the market for also, like, I'm talking about spending money on my car, but we're also actively like trying to have better habits for saving so that we can actually buy our own house because we, we haven't done that yet. Like, we're we live in an amazing, like, almost mansion-sized house. I mean, it's a five-bedroom huge house in a wonderful neighborhood. And, uh, you know, we pay rent and, and utilities and all that stuff. But uh, we don't pay full stuff. Like, we're not paying, like, $1,500 a month for rent, right? Like, we have a little bit of a break there. So, uh, you know, there are things that will come with buying a house and that might require me to do some extra work somewhere else. I have a couple of buddies that own businesses that may need some help. I was trying to help my buddy with that Glowforge create a, a side business so that I could do some work with him there and create like cool content and, and stuff for like YouTube channels and sports fans and, and uh, enthusiasts of different car makes and stuff. And uh, that's still a possibility, but uh, we just haven't had time to meet up. And he's training to run a, uh, like a mega marathon i don't know what they're called when they're over 30 but um, he's doing like a, i think it's a 50 mile so whatever, whatever that ends up being called uh, so anyways you never know like like there's a possibility we've talked about me going into uh, a tech position in the school district which would mean that i would work basically monday through friday at the school uh, so streams would obviously not be during the day if if at all uh, you know, but, but those are all just hypothetical. It's like, never know. For now, though, we're planning on uploading as much as we can without being a nuisance. You know, like we, we see a couple channels out there that definitely are doing like uh, you know, four, five, six videos a day. And, and to us, we think that's overkill. Like, and you guys have spoke to us, too. You guys don't want your uh, feed getting blown up three, four, five, six times a day. Uh, and we've done that, especially even when we're uploading new games. Like, and these channels aren't even, like, necessarily game or resource channels. They're more of, like, you know, current events or, like, so-and-so said this. Or, you know, my channel's getting hijacked because of this. Like, you know, some of the things are a little ridiculous. But uh, but people are uploading on a escalated feed, that's for sure. All right, where do I go now? Tobias, do you have a link for that channel? Uh, I do. Um, Joey, are you able to do that, or is it easier for me to do it at the moment? TV, yes, sir. Please and thank you. Joey's working on it right now, guys. We also have memberships. If you guys are interested in joining and getting some cool emojis, I don't know if a couple of our members would be awesome and drop some of the custom emojis. In fact, you know what? Um, dudes, we have to be getting close. Like, uh, like it has to be within the next day or three that the memberships, the badges, are actually going to switch over and go from new to one. Right? So that's actually pretty monumental. Get out of here, buddy. Bam! 
my school office lady said, Brian, Brian, you gotta... They're stealing a chopper. <laughs> Was she talking to me? Do I look snoozy? Here's a question for you guys. <laughs> my wife's gonna hate me. Um... If you were to have to, like, let's say you were writing a comic, or a, telling a story, or maybe even just sending a friend a message or a text, and you were trying to type out the sound. How would you try to portray that? Like, how, like, how, I asked this because when I was young, when younger, bad, yes, essentially snoring sounds. Um, when I was younger, my wife, <laughs> she said something one day, and it stuck with me, and I've never let it down. And like I said, she's gonna kill me when she finds out I talk about this. But um, she has a particular wording or, or spelling that she <laughs> that she would say or type, but then like. One day she like said it like, <laughs> and like she wasn't doing the, she was like saying okay? kind of a phrase or a word that represented that. And I'm just curious if any of you guys have. Thank you, Austin, for the emojis. Um, you guys have any? Because it, it was just funny. It's it's awfully cute or adorable, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but it's also like mildly comical too. And, and I'm just curious. I'm waiting for some people to uh, maybe. maybe I'll spell head something. Uh, that was a minute behind. No worries. No worries. Got it. I'll go join Just the so. Party. Thank you, Tobias. Appreciate the love. Yeah, we'll be live tomorrow, and it looks like we're going to be playing some Apex Everyone Legends. Uh, the Grand Soiree right? has started. Okay. Uh, it was updated yesterday, I believe. And um, there are seven modes that are limited time, and they're only going to be here for two weeks. Uh, look, look at me. I did some homework on Apex. Um... Basically, there are a, a couple of different ones. Uh, there's there's some some like basically different sizes. Like uh, there's also the different um, like Kings Canyon at night. Um, so there's some things to to check out. Um, and I, I feel like you know a lot of people got buffed like uh, Gibraltar and um, uh, what's his name uh, Crypto got uh, major increases in their characters uh, powers and abilities while. A couple others got uh, dropped. Wraith got dropped. Uh, I'm trying to think. There was a whole list of stuff, and I, I absorbed a fair amount of it, but obviously not all of it. Um, and it's definitely gonna be, it's definitely gonna be fun, right? Um, we'll chase some dubs, but we'll also be looking at all the new content. Holy cow! That is one rhino. So this is obviously a trophy here, because I remember it saying "Be Electro and Rhino." Um, Oh, is it? So this isn't the actual battle. This is just okay. This is too good to be true. So the Sinister Six is escaping. Scorpion, Rhino, Electro. Who's else? Okay. Not really. Electro, Rhino, and now Scorpion are all on the loose. What's going on in the rest of the prison? Camera system's almost up. I'll give you a sit rep soon. Okay, I'll keep tracking Electro. Ouchies! Come on, Spider-Man! I thought this was a chase. It it is a chase. Hello, you gonna let me move? Okay, there we go. Going up. Takes me up on 
Dun 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 dun. Gotcha. Bam. Vulture. Long time no see. We're going to have so much fun. Sorry, no time. To I don't like heights. Still with me, huh? Yeah, I'm not. I definitely would not be able to be Spider-Man on on the low low. First of all, I would have a hell of a time trying to <laughs> not tell somebody about it. Uh, you guys know I like to talk, so that would be a really tough one for me. Uh, ooh, that might not end well for me. That was pretty sweet. You know, I will say too, some, something that I didn't really touch on yesterday was that battle yesterday was pretty epic. I know I expressed my displeasure overall with the game and I just not really fully connecting, not quite like I have with this game or some of the other games we played, but, um, you know, like that, that final battle was pretty epic. Yeah. Gotta move faster. Gotta be like Sonic. Electro, stop! Woohoo! See, I need to get like some of those kind suit? of bolts like that Dash. that blue onto Where'd the Mjolnir, huh? Mjolnir! I'm sure Loki's like. I'm sure, like a good. Like the color of Spider Man's suit almost, huh? Yeah, I got I got something up my sleeve that I like I said I that you know I I definitely try to continue to educate myself on things like rather than focus on like politics and religion and arguing with people about you know my opinions or beliefs versus theirs I try to like read things on like you know, things that matter to me like sports and like graphics and and search engine optimization and web development and. I definitely got some tricks up my sleeve that uh, I've been learning in those classes, and I do apply. I hope to apply them not only to future graphics, but also thumbnails. Uh, didn't Electro have blue lightning coming? From I don't know. Apparently not originally. You know, I never saw those those ones. I I, I didn't. I, I was so disgusted with the Tobey Maguire ones that I ended First up not seeing the board. the Andrew Garfield. Was that his name? Um, I didn't see. There was two of them, right? Stay and, out or of just one? Way. I, I I didn't see it. Or yeah. Right. Each of you has a job to do. I bet you Garfield was pissed when that happened when they got brought into it because he's like, "Man, that was my job. They took our jobs." <laughs> Getting close to the end of the game, folks. Well, we're slower now. We still got Act Three to complete. We haven't even got to Act. This is the Act Two is probably ending right now, huh? Yeah, you did. Uh, the Andrew Garfield ones are really bad. Really, so I didn't see him. I, I just I did not care for the Tobey Maguire ones. I wasn't a huge fan of what's her name either. There we go. There's the six assemble. That should be Act Two. Um, what's her name? Not Renee. Kirsten Dunst. Not a fan. Little Rock. I I I never saw him. I, I that that was coming from the chat. I that's what it says. I I, I didn't ever see him, so I have no opinion on those. Um, yeah, yeah. I know. I don't know what that. I've seen two. Have you seen two? Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're right. Grace is not even close. At least one or two more streams. Yeah, but I'm I'm good though, Gray. I can make this happen right now. All these <laughs> years. Psych. All these lies. It's over, Norman. 
All right, I'm laying down. What now? Oh, I thought you were instructing me what to do. I was just following orders. That does not look good. Red mist is bad, I'm okay. I'll do my best. invest in some of those. I have. How are you doing, Laharu? Am I saying that right? I have. I, I, I like the uh, the Tom Holland ones. I think he's great. That's not good. You okay? Yeah, fine. Can you uh, can you pass us out for me? Sure. They are working around the clock on a cure for this deadly disease. The citywide quarantine is being heavily enforced by Sable International, who maintain tight security over all transit points. Uh. I haven't started one yet. It's still wrapping up the end of Act Two. Gone on record blaming Spider-Man for the prison break and citywide sickness. And branding him a fugitive. But he has yet to provide evidence. And many believe the mayor is just deflecting blame. Since an exclusive report by the Bugle revealed that this disease originated in a secret, unregulated... Like the Osborne first Spider-Man the most? Wasn't that Tobey Maguire? Osborne insists that Osborne Turn it off! ...NDC on an anti-serum, but has not provided any further evidence to support this claim. Was there a Spider-Man TV show? I don't even remember a Spider-Man TV show. I don't, how, how come nobody that's not around or talked about like Batman's a huge thing and it's always like that was big in the 60s and 70s well, I explained it then I guess Whee! Dr. Octavius why how did I let this happen I need to get back to work. The doctor said you still have 14 broken bones. Which means I have 192 non-broken huh? ones. Thanks for taking care of me, by the way. The hard part was keeping you hidden from Sables. They branded you a priority target, you know. I humbly accept the honor. So now I'm gonna have those Sable what outposts or whatever scenery? open, because... I don't know. Feels like they're the saying they're the after world. me now. Maybe it is. Quarantine. C -c 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 complete. Uh, close. It's La Hyru, but that's close. To college professor got it. Nice. Well, I'm usually bad. It's I usually slaughter names and things, so it's good I'm that I got help. close. Uh, good. There's gangs of escaped prisoners banding together. All right. Oh, what is this? Prisoner camp, huh? That's clearly a new thing on the old map. Is that considered the prisoner crime? Is that what that is? Taking over entire city blocks, looting, strong arming local residents, you name it. I'll take care right, of but it's labeled, I think, on the map the as a prisoner crime. To do whatever it takes to find Lee and Octavius. So she's just rounding people up indiscriminately, holding them captive in bases around the city. Sleep it off. Yuri. I've got eyes on a mob of Rikers escapees. They're hunkered down for the long haul. I'll send a team. But with all that's going on, it might take a while to get enough of my people together. I don't want to think about what these guys could do in the meantime. I'll handle it. Yes, please. Did you see that, that guy? No, welcome to my world, broski. Welcome to my world. <laughs> uh, 
he's talking to his boy and, and, and I'm answering as if he was talking to me, which he wasn't. He's like, I could do without the peanut gallery. I was like, welcome to my world, bro. Oh, heat-seeking rockets. That's fun. I didn't realize they were heat-seekers. Okay. Everyone be nice to the new guy. Everybody be nice to the new guy. Seems like a good plan. I can't at the moment. Aye! Uh, just not, it's not pulled up on the other one and I'm actively battling, so. Instead of just one big one, they don't trust each other. Works to our advantage. They're clumped together, but not so many they can't be dealt with. Easy for you to say. I gotta go. <sighs> Get ready. I, think I got enough guys to do this over and over and. Oh boy. now. Oh gosh. down on the ground oh that rocket was <laughs> after me good lord There's a guy halfway on the wall. That's pretty cool. Oh, hi, Dawson. Welcome to the stream. One guy left. <laughs> Always one last guy. 
Uh, uh, uh. Co -co 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 All clear for the cleanup crew. Tell locals they can go to the bodega now. Nice work. Things are hard enough in this city without it turning into a giant temporary prison, prison, yard. prison story. Prison story. We already got through that, there, buddy. I got the three tokens there, so that's good. All right, return to completed prison camps to replay. Okay. So, prison crimes. Is there... There's not labeled a prison camp on the map. So those don't have to be completed for the 100%. to just give you extra credit. Because it didn't count... No, no, no I, I, I understand all that, but what I'm saying is, is that on the checklist for each district, there is no reference to the barbed wire. There is prisoner crimes, but I just completed a prisoner camp, and it did not count as a prisoner crime. So, essentially, but the camps aren't being tracked. Not on the list, they're not. Uh, there's nothing to scroll down to. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what you mean by... I don't see one that's locked. I see... I see two that are open. Ooh, Sable Outpost. Okay, so yes, there's one up here that's open. And then there's one down below that's open. Hey, Yuri, no. I'll take care of the escaped convicts. What else you got? The mayor told Silver Sable to do whatever it takes to find... Oh, the I'm, I'm moving to one so right now. Just rounding people up indiscriminately, holding them captive in bases around the city. I've even heard rumors oh, crap, of going on over here. tactics. You mean torture? <sighs> All right. What Don't is worry. It? Oh, Sable outposts and prison this camps. City, Yuri. It's time we take it back. Earn base tokens. Great. My men are tracking the supervillains. Okay, so now it just told me that I had those, but do your best to stabilize the city. Interesting. Well, I mean, it's there's if there's one for uh, a camp, then no, mine does not look the same as yours. If it doesn't have one for a camp, then yes. Complete the crime within two minutes, huh? that one up where's buddy at he's over here somewhere is he maybe on the roof where is buddy up top oh he is up top attention all units escape prisoners have hijacked the transport nearest units converge what? on here, I can try to reach you all day are you okay oh my gosh I have no idea what's going on like I'm fine, Alright, something else going on now. I've apparently left. Oh no, don't you do that. This is the safest place in the city right now. Our sister location's uptown. Not so much. But we're safe and secure down here. Just hope it stays that way. I'll stop by when I can, May. Love you. Would use their freedom for something non destructive like knitting. Well, there's guys everywhere. Again? No, I get it. It's not like the city has real problems. Some armor that's immune to webs. Oh, that's good to know. Let's see you later. I hope you've all learned something here, but I know better. Can I take down the chopper? Hm. Like, 
cops or the sable guys? Yeah. I understand that. That's what I was asking. I was just clarifying. Because the chopper was flying right above where I just had to take out a bunch of Sable dudes. So. Had you have been watching, you would have understood. Well, I <laughs> so I don't know if... Before me? Why did... First of all, you've had it for a year longer than me. If you haven't platinumed it by now, that, that's on you. <laughs> and, and I didn't realize there's a competition. The goal for you being here was to help, not to parallel play and beat me. Like, let's, let's remember that. If that keeps up, someone could get hurt. Or worse. Guys, it's, I love New York. Well, not my thug New York. I, Destroy, I think, is the word you're looking for. <laughs> Alright, let's get. Uh, web, you know. Uh, let's go. No, drum. Okay, I am totally being hammered up right here. There we go. <laughs> All right, Sable checkpoint, Dunzo. Okay, so I should have been paying attention to the uh, the requirements a little bit more there. And there's more guys over here. Boy, there is just bad guys everywhere now. Like, it's crazy how much like crime is ensuing right now. Did that hurt? Good. More Tell guys up friends. there, huh? Wall runner. All right, maybe there isn't anybody up here. It shows that there's guys here. There's some way over there. Oh wait, they're there. Ha! What's the ground pound triangle? You know, I don't mean to overreact, but I'm starting to take this personally. You guys gotta know you deserve that, right? It's so, like, I don't know if what I'm doing here is really doing anything other than, like, accounting for maybe some XP or something? Or... So I'm gonna go over to one of these prison camps and bust some heads in over here. I feel like those are only there for XP gaming and stuff. Fury. I ran across some Rikers inmates. They built a fort. So Way I better use than the trip ones I used to make okay, out of sofa so pillows. Where is my trip I just mines? had a patrol car ah. roll. They tried to step in, but there were too many. And we don't have the manpower for reinforcements. Lucky for you, you've got spider man power. Not bad, huh? I should have gone uh. into advertising. <laughs> <laughs> Those trip lines are trippy. Nice, hug it out. Just got the trophy for uh, the ten whatevers. So I knew I had more than that. Alright, so I gotta target these snipers that keep targeting me. Ooh. 
Whoa, bro. Whoa. Get him, get him, get him. <laughs> I love how that works. You set him up with it, and it doesn't do anything until you kick him off the top, and then it like, it's like, hey, where are you going? <laughs> Zip tie you to the ground. So I got the bonus objectives done. That's easy peasy. Nice one. He's gonna feel that in the morning. More inmates. I'm starting to feel weird being the only one not wearing orange. <laughs> Busted. Oh. Spider Man, I've spoken to people on the block. Awesome. They seem to try to break into their buildings. Fits with what I heard. They want to take one over. They'll be a lot easier to deal with on the street without hostages. Crap. I'm working on it. Talk to you soon. Adios, amigos. <laughs> Outgoing. <laughs> There's just some serious arse whooping happening here. Okay, you guys are really late. I'm afraid uh, there will be a no-show fee. Uh, let's go with this guy. <laughs> See ya! Eat, hey, eat what? I'm not hungry, dude. Thanks, though. Brawler plus 50%. Alright, we got some more dudes over there. Ooh, what you got? You wanna, you wanna shoot something at me? I got something. Oh, come on! That's a bunch of malarkey. I hit him. Oh, that one I missed. Alright, that's it. <laughs> oh! See ya. He ain't gonna make Spider Man too. Alright, we got what? Three guys left? Looks like one is down on the ground. That seems weird. Oh, I see you over there, buddy. We got. I see you hiding over here, buddy. Don't let him get behind you. Whoops! Should have followed your own rule. Absolutely. What's up there, Gumbies? 
The siege of Manhattan Bill H. and G are excited this new Lego game that comes out this year. Thanks. I'll send some buses yeah, to take those guys the excitement's kind of fizzled out a little bit, right? The initial reaction to it is kind of come and gone. I mean, yeah, yes, we're excited. It, now it's just a matter of, come on! Is this ever going to come? And I mean, at this point, we still have no idea. Is it going to be May, June, July, August, September, October, November, or December? I mean, I'm guessing halfway through the year, June, July is probably... May, May June, July is really my closest guess. Um, I have no inside info or really anything, but just knowing the how, how long the process generally takes for QA and things like that. Oh, come on. What do you guys want? You want some of this? Okay. Yeah, we did it. We've got videos for it. What, what's the question? Strong arming civilians is not gonna fly in my town. Sweet. Awesome. Yes. Oh. Done? Oh, there's another gun, huh? Okay, there's multiple guns. <laughs> what makes you say that? <laughs> what? I can't hear you! <laughs> Joey's youngster had gotten a hold of the microphone. Boom. <laughs> That's all I get here coming through the microphone. It's like, I don't think Brian's going to like that very much. Whatever do you mean? 10% melee damage increase. All right, so... Let's go ahead and look at my gadgets real quick. Is there anything that I can upgrade? Yes. Oh yeah, sweet. So I got my uh, impact web all the way upgraded. Let's see what can I get? Oh nope, no there. What about you? Can you? Nope. Needing crime tokens. Is it such a crime that I need the tokens? Suspension matrix upgrades. Okay, so basically I need to kick more teeth in. What's this here? Uh, food convoy raid. That is a crime. I'll, I'll do it. So yeah, a lot of what I have left is like what I'm doing right now, kind of picking and choosing the different uh, let's see, web throw things. Uh, picking and choosing different uh, uh, tasks to do and, and earn the tokens. And, let's see, there, come on. Nice. Oh, that was pretty dope. Glad that was pretty dope. All right, so I got one of them crimes done. Boy, I got a lot to go, though. Look at that. I'm already at 74% today. So I made a pretty big jump by completing Act 2 and doing some of these other thingy things. Um, all right, so Sable has a lot of outposts that I need to take down. I'm going to work on my first one right now. And then we'll go do, after we kick some more teeth in, we'll go ahead and switch over to a story mission. Uh, so your Loki says something about complete saga. What? 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 They could make a wild game in a half a year. Then why can't they finish one ninth of a game? I don't know what you're trying to say there. There's never been a Lego game that they've ever made in half of a year. All units. That is definitely not front. accurate information. Um, let's see here. Well, if I was right, last Lego Star Wars game. 
which was the third one, came out early in the year, it seems. Uh, I actually have no recollection of when it came out, so I, I can't be of any... I mean, I could look up and see when our videos were out and, and all of that, or just Google Star Wars Force Awakens uh, Lego release date, you know, and that should tell me. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Let's go ahead. What? Why didn't that? Oh, is he. They got the suits that don't. Oh, okay. Okay. It told me that some of the suits weren't going to work, but. He felt that one. Yeah, I did. Um, yeah, I. I uh, yeah, I, I just see it as being uh, definitely like a June, July release, and I think that's pretty realistic to do, you know, one level properly tested internally. Uh, you know then go through the quality assurance that it takes to get through uh, in order to pass the, the required tests in order to be on a marketplace so that it doesn't ruin or do things or, uh, you know, and all that stuff. And, of course, the publisher has to have their say in whether or not the content is accurately being used. More of a 65-hit combo. And that's doable, but not likely at this point. Twenty-three is all I can get. Um, yes, yeah, so the game is being made over the last two years. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Le Lego uh, Star Wars Skywalker Saga has been in the works for a while. Now, I did catch something the other day, too, that there's a guy who's been talking about working on a project who is a developer for TT Games, um, and he was asked about LEGO Star Wars, and he said, you'd be better to ask the team that's working on it, as I am not working on that project. So there's clearly something else going on. It could have been a mobile game, could have been a, you know, who knows what else. But uh, definitely uh, more than one thing going on. I can't seem to stream, string a, uh, a combo together from for more than like a couple of hits. As soon as you get hit, you lose the combo. That's why. Ah, see, I keep getting hit. Stop burning. Burn, burn, burn it. I need to take out that floater wherever he is.
just won't stop. Tell Silver Sable I said I'm not uh -huh. interested. And this is really getting stalkerish. Thumbs are getting a little tired. Yay. Release the peeps. Uh, there we go. What's up there, Drexy Poo? Let's see here. Uh, here they reveal the mechanics. All the people or in the cells are out. Got their property back. Good. And Sable International swears they're going to prosecute that squad. I'll believe it when I see it. Yeah, they have. They, they've used a whole new engine and everything to continue uh, the Lego Sky, Skywalker saga. Like, they definitely have uh, gone back. And, I mean, there may be the same... I mean, it may be the same content, just visually rebuilt. But we'll see. We'll definitely see. It's not going to be too much longer. I mean, we know we're six months, eight months away, you know, ten months at worst. Because there's no way they're going to release it in, like, December 25th or something. They're definitely going to do it when it's more relevant to, like, you know, holidays and things like that. So, plus, with the consoles coming out this year, it's likely going to be, uh, you know, something that will maybe coincide with the release. I mean, uh, I think it's too early to speculate if it'll be a PS5 release title. But we already know that everything's going to be backwards compatible all the way to the PS1. So, whether they will make the game a PS5 title or just allow it to be played as a PS4 title on the 5, I, I don't, that's yet to be seen. And I, mean, I don't know that 100% sure that the, the PS5 will be all the way backwards compatible, but that's what the reports and stuff that I've read so far have said. So, it's we will see. He... Alright, get up there. Chickens, I mean the lunatics who've escaped from Riker's Island. I see venomized people. These you? City like okay, Captain, got eyes on. Fill me in. Rhino's assaulting the Upper West Precinct. Electro's at the Upper East. We need you to turn the tide. Head to either. They're both equally screwed. Okay. Uh -oh -oh -oh. Well, I don't know anything. I haven't heard anything about Bloodborne and other games being released. That's possible. I've always wondered why studios do that, especially after like a year or two. Like this game can totally be released on other platforms now. It's definitely served its pur purpose as an exclusive on the console. It drove a lot of sales. There was special editions and all that. I mean, they basically beat it into the ground, and I think they could make some more money off the title, which could potentially lead to a better or a quicker version of the second one, right? Like, more people, Jury. bigger monies, and blah, Okay, what's going on there? People are... Good. Electro and the demons are boxing my men in. The setup is complicated. You'll understand when you get there. Yuri wants to have a master of suspense. Huh. Alright, 
it's just a bunch of random prisoners here, huh? It's gonna be up top of this other one, maybe? Attention units, escaped prisoners are causing a violent disturbance. Location is museum mile, over. Okay, so those guys are not as important as these guys. Aww, escaped inmates, a trash campfire. It's almost cozy. <sighs> Oops. Perform five air throws on enemies, isn't this? Okay, those are swing kicks. So where is the air throw then, I wonder? Dang, I couldn't get it anyway. Right. Thuggity, thuggity, thuggity. Got ye. No, if they can't bring Halo to PlayStation, then no one else gets a Spider Man. I wouldn't want Halo, honestly. Like, I have no interest in that game or franchise at all. Like, not even in this. Like, if they rebooted it, remade it, made a new one. If they came to me and said, Brian, we want you to be the main character in the game, I probably would say, mm, thanks, but no thanks. All right, maybe I would say, maybe I would have said that. I did see, really cool, and, and, and you guys know I'm not a Fortnite fan at all. I have no ties or connections to anybody who plays it. Obviously, everybody's heard of Ninja that watches gaming stuff. Ninja actually got a really cool thing today. He, he's been getting lots of endorsements. He got the shoe deal recently. Obviously, he got the major money from Mixer. But what I thought was really cool today is they actually gave him a Fortnite skin. As of today, you can actually play as Ninja in the game. Now, I have no desire to play as Ninja or anything, but um, definitely cool. So what's going on here? There's electrified stuffs everywhere. All right, so I'm getting hit by stuff. Five transformers Where total. are the bad guys? Them up with cause them to overheat. I hope. What is that? Joey, what's going on here? What is? Am I supposed to do something with these TARDIS-looking things that are going around, or...? So I gotta... Okay, well, I'm, tr I'm trying. It's not allowing me to. It's. Uh, I see what you're saying. Web should overheat the transformers. Oh my gosh, get off the ledge already, buddy. Nobody asked you to be up here. Alright. Copy that, alright. And this one's going around and Ooh, I just got blasted. Alright. Man, I did not miss dealing with Electro's elaborate supervillain antics while he was in the raft. So one further the down. With a network or... of energy transformers? Who does that? Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, so. <laughs> Only one more. I might not worry about fighting these guys if I don't have to. Oh, come on. <laughs> Shooting everything but the thing right in front of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
PS4 get payload, then I want X. Police are free, but demons are backing down. Need to lend a hand. Forza. Forza wouldn't be bad. I I think the graphics would be maybe improved on the four. And they're already pretty good, right? I mean. Safe. What's next? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I gotta go a long ways now, huh? He never does. On my way. What does Halo? <laughs> no, Halo is not coming to PS4. We're just speculating, saying like exclusives should maybe not always be permanently exclusive. Like, that makes sense to have like certain releases or but but I mean a development studio think about it if, if if gamers are split up into three categories right I mean we're just gonna say three just to keep it simple uh, you know I guess it's technically four right because switch is a huge part now too but I mean you got Nintendo you got Xbox nobody plays that dude that's a that's a dying fad stadia's here to come it's here today gone tomorrow just like um, what, what's that other thing? There was another little box that was played. It was for like super popular for a minute. Um, I almost got one. They're like, the, God, I can't think of what it is. But um, there was a bunch of games like that. And some of them were supposed to play mobile games on TV. Some were supposed to be like their independent consoles and like all sorts of different things. And the hoo the oo is what it was. That was a terrible idea. There's, there's been a lot of those that have tried to make it and they have not. And... Um, but I mean, you got Switch, you got Xbox, or so basically yeah, Nintendo, Sony, PC, and and um, and then uh, and, well, no, Microsoft, Sony, Nintendo, and then PC. There we go. I finally got it. Um, and that being said, if you're limiting to one of those, you're basically taking potentially a fourth of your potential revenue away. Like that's a lot. Like right now, like yesterday, I mentioned that uh, Monkey Flop is leaving his multi channel network partner. And I've been in kind of the works of heading that way as well. And ultimately, the reason is, is because as you guys know, I, I have to do a lot to do to make very minimal. And um, that being said, there's 20% that gets taken off of my check that goes to a multi channel network partner. And there's absolutely nothing they're doing for me. They're not helping me with analytics. They're not helping me sort through copyright content. They're not placing my video somewhere. They're not giving me a higher rate of pay. They're not doing anything. And they actually came out and admitted they weren't doing anything. And they haven't been for quite some time because according to them, I wasn't hitting my quota. Well, I've been hitting my quota. And so technically they should be getting paid and technically I should be getting services, but I'm not getting them. And so I'm leaving and I'm potentially going to talk to an attorney because I've been paying for stuff that I've been getting lied to. And then they're saying that they're, you know, it, it's, it's, it's a mess. And, uh, Scott, AKA monkey flop. He actually lives in LA and has got to go visit the same place. The, the place that I am partnered with is who he is partnered with. So, uh, he has inside info and all sorts of stuff that he's going to let me in on. We're hopefully going to get on a call, uh, in the next day or so. Well, we're hoping today, but we'll see. I got a lot of stuff going on. I got another bonus video I'm working on after uh, the stream today. And of course, uh, I also got a Lego Star Wars video up this morning. So, uh, you know, definitely been a busy day. Plus my computer crapped out on me and all that. So, um, what is happening now? Okay. Whoa. Uh, okay, up top. There. 
guys see Drexler? He's totally having a dream right now. He's like barking. His eyes are open though. Drexler? Drex? Drexler? Are you okay? Are you okay? You having a dream? Hi. Good boy. Kind of worries me sometimes. Like I know that dogs have like those, but usually their eye, like his eyes were open and his ears and they were like moving around. Like he, I don't know if you guys could actually see that or not, but that was crazy. Grinding through Lego Harry Potter one through four. Nice. That's awesome. Hopefully we're being a uh, at least a little bit of a help there. Oh come on. Ah. Ah. Oh, just me? Anybody? What? For what? Well, what? Why don't you just tell me? I, I'm actively <laughs> like, like what? Why? Why? What? What? You got it? Okay. About time. You should go look at your first trophy and and see when you got it and then how long it took you and then that'll be the competition. Not a matter of day of the year, but how long it how many days and time. Since you're so worried about this competition, let's make it a competition. We can't, why not? Yeah, exactly. So you're trying to focus on he's trying to focus on like he got the plat before me, right? He's like, oh, go ahead and show the chat. Tell everybody. And I'm like, well, let's focus on how long it took. How many hours versus like how, you know, days, weeks. He's like, no, 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 no. Come on. Is there because because why not? <laughs> I've only had the game. For like three, five, six weeks, right? Seven weeks? Seven weeks. I've only played it one day a week. So still, even then, I think I'm totally going to dominate that. So I got to figure out how the heck to get this guy way the crap up there. Oh, guess what, buddy? Okay. How <laughs> do I get him up there? All right, let's try one of my specialties. Uh, electric? What's this one? Suspension matrix. I don't even know what that does. That's not going to do it either. Oh my gosh, what is happening? What is happening? Alright. So why... Like, I'm not able to... Did that do it? <laughs> that didn't do it either. I should be able to kick him in the face now. Nope. There we go. Woo! I appreciate that. Glad we could help out. Uh, some trophies on PSN have taken me days to get. No, hey, there's definitely definitely uh, ones that are harder, you know, longer, stronger, whatever you want to call it. Okay, I need to sign off for a bit. He's just trying to make it a competition, and he's like making sure that no matter how the competition is, it favors his his side of the winning. Which I don't blame him, right? That's that's what competitions are. So uh, I, I just I'm just trying to rebuttal and counter that with like you know uh, is there a bonus video the mystery guide you've been promising since last year no so uh, honestly I'll I'll be, I'll be honest um, two people let me down and as a result I, I was not able to complete those so guides were created and started but never finished uh, which is why I never announced what they were because I was a little worried uh, as I've mentioned Nick totally did not finish lego uh he actually worked on it for like six months and he never gave me anything that was usable 
It was all like this big storyline stuff. Like he was writing stories on how it was like he was retelling the story of what was happening versus giving me the collectibles. And, and he was always making it really hard to understand. And maybe the game is really hard to understand, but, but we never got a guide out of it. So that's what that was. So uh, unfortunately, Nick's no longer around and he has completely disconnected from the channel, not following us, not following me on Twitter, not talking to me, not taking my messages. I have no idea what happened. But you guys should know that that's where we're at with all that. Um, and, and the guide that he was writing was Lego, um, not, Pirate, not Pirates of the Caribbean, but um, Indiana Jones. Lego Indiana Jones. Um, I think I said Pirates earlier, didn't I? Anyways. Um, but uh, on the other one, the, the Gary was also actively working on a second guide. As you guys know, he put together the Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga, and it was awesome. He kicked major butt on it. But real life picked up and, you know, he broke his leg or foot again. Uh, you know, his epilepsy was becoming more and more of a daily issue. So he had to step back. So we were also working on a guide for Spyro. Um, and so those were the two main games that were being written for. Um, and then Joey also toyed with the notion of writing a Titanfall 2 guide. Um, I'm not actually sure where that is currently, but we've kind of backed off from that too because Joey kind of informed me that guide writing just wasn't necessarily something he um, was going to have the time needed for, right? Like he didn't hate it, but it, it is a time consuming process. And when you have children and a wife and, you know, other things that you have to do, like, guide writing can you know and, and that's why that's why tyler isn't currently writing guides either like uh you know his real his job is real life stuff really picked up and his goals for real life became uh a more of a mainstream priority for him and so um that is where we're at with that now tyler is actually maybe going to join us on friday so that's going to be fun um you know but yeah it, you know so so the the one guide was purely um, real life took over. You guys know how we are. Real life first. That's definitely our motto around here. Um, and I have no, uh, you know, ill will feelings or anything. And there's always the possibility that that might get finished at some point. Um, you know, Gary has taken a break from everything, like from his daily routine. And at some point, we hope to hear from him again. Uh, whether or not it'll continue in any kind of help or assistance with the channel, I doubt, but it's always possible the door is open, you know, and, and I mean, that, that's usually, you know, my policy with most things. And, and um, as far as the Lego Indiana Jones guide, I uh, am back to square one. I currently have no information or any inside anything to make videos with, so uh, we're... I actually have kind of started uh, probing out a new guide writer um, that that is interested, but there are some you know some real life uh, hurdles that will definitely play a factor in some decision making and moving forward. But uh, it is possible we have found a, a new guide writer. Um, and if you guys know somebody or are personally interested in writing some guide stuff, let us know. Uh, we're always looking. At, I'd love to have ten guide writers, and that still wouldn't be enough if I'm being honest. Uh, because, you know, we'd like to write guides uh, textually for lots and lots of games. Like, we would love to do way more than we have ever done in the past. But it's just been a manpower thing. We just don't have the manpower required to write a guide for every game. Right? I'd love to be more of a resource like True Trophies or PlayStationTrophies.com or something like that, right? Where there's every game and there's multiple people volunteering and doing stuff. But... We just haven't ever really got to that stage of the evolution. And whether it's a me thing, like maybe I haven't presented the opportunity ground enough, or maybe I haven't, uh, you know, our community is large, uh, but maybe they don't know. Uh, you know, I mean, there's lots of things, right? Um, and I've been trying new things this last year, and it's actually been helping the channel. It's been helping us grow. As you guys, have, if you guys follow us on Facebook or Twitter, you probably saw some stats that I posted yesterday. We've had 1,800 plus subscribers in the last 28 days. That means in the last month, the last 30, 31 days, we've had 18 to 1,900 new subscribers. Now, there's always downfall. We always lose people, like right. There's always bots that get discovered or accounts that haven't been used in 10 years. Uh, you know, and, and so YouTube will shut some of those down. And every month we lose anywhere from 10 to 100 subs on average. And then they have the big purges here and there that even get larger numbers than that. But ultimately, we've been growing. And, and I have a large belief that playing Spider-Man, playing Call of Duty, playing Apex, playing these other games 
in a different form, in a let's play form versus a guide form is also helping. So I'm getting more diversity on the channel. There's more things. And if I can continue to improve things like thumbnails, that should help with click-through rates. Click-through rates should then help with watch time and views. And watch time and views will then help for YouTube recommendations and the algorithm, which will then ultimately lead to higher monetization, viewability, interaction, and everything. And that's you know, I'm trying to learn as much as I can about the algorithm, but they don't tell us a, a bunch. Like, we only know certain things, and it changes constantly. So, um, trying to work it all out and fit it all in, but it is crazy to keep track of a lot of these things, I tell you what. Brace yourselves! So, um, so yeah, and, and you know what? I mean, it's always possible. I mean, uh, Nick may show up and say, here's the guy. But, I mean, you don't unfollow people? on social media if you don't have problems with them right like you don't go out of your way to unfollow so i and i still have no idea so you know if anybody hears from sees him or whatever I, you know ask him because <laughs> i have no clue but i mean i'd love to get that lego indie guide because i know we put time and love into it and, and i mean even if it's not complete and it needs some work or whatever but i mean it was just something that was talked about a lot and it was like not me bringing it up it was like oh hey by the way I, I spent four hours doing that last night or hey I did this and it was always like this point of like pride like hey I'm working on it and then I never got anything so It'd be nice to hear about Lego Batman 4 that would be nice there I mean we did get DC super villains last year so we have had an installment from that side of the franchise uh, but I mean yeah we are due uh, we know we got Lego Star Wars coming. We're hoping for Lego Marvel. You know, there's been a lot of Lego Ninjago stuff floating. There's a new show, I guess. There's the Legacy Toys sets that are popping out. Um, you know, the arcade pods and stuff that I was talking about yesterday. I, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if there's something in the works for that. Um, you know, I would love to see a Lego City Undercover 2. Or Lego City 2 undercover or, you know, undercovering, or, you know, something, right? It would be some sort of wordplay because they are funny with the okay? the game itself. So I'd love that. And, and, you know, hey, if it's, it's starting to take a year or two years versus, like, you know, less than that to, to even get the majority, then I'm fine with that. It, I'm okay with one game release a year as long as it's, like, a big, fr and it's good and it's large, right? If I can get a lot of content out of it, and provide a lot of help for you guys that really helps my channel I'm but sorry I screwed things up. lego content makes or breaks us really i mean it has um so Hard hopefully we'll get some more of that soon save, you know i have Sometimes not played the remaster that was actually the guide that gary was working on and we were hopefully going to play that but unfortunately tobias we didn't get to the finish line before gary had to step down due to real life reasons uh so i didn't know if uh you wanted sparkling or or flat or spring or mountain spring, so I got one of each. Am I interrupting? No. Um, Only slightly. MJ, Ms. Watson, and I were just talking Lego strategy. Doctor Who would be cool. They touched that quite a bit in Lego Dimensions, strategy. which was right. fun. The city is in danger. There was a handful of levels in that All one. of our help. All right, well, call the play, coach. Okay. Well, there there was a, a, a large set care. and, and, and a, quite a bit of content with, uh, what, I think, we need an anti -serum for 15 breath. doctors and... Oscorp's developing uh, something, but there's no there's way... There's a lot, they, dude. A lot of content. Octavius and Lee. We need to find the cure and protect it. I'll chase down some leads. Uh, I don't think she was in it, actually. Miles, but she might have been. You need to be my eyes and ears at Feast. Well, then maybe it was only 14. Anything goes wrong, call me. We need to keep that place and the people there safe. All right, you got it. What are you gonna do? Gang of costume nut jobs is taking well, I've, I've piece watched by a fair piece. amount of it too, but I don't. Time I return the favor. I don't really have strong opinions about it. It, it is what it hey, is. It's wait, a cool show. Um, it's like the longest running show ever. I call you? Yeah, Karate Joe hey, says you, there's 13 you have a doctors. Cell phone in your, in your po pockets or something? Ms. Watson can give you my number. Good luck, team. Okay. Hmm. You have his number. Are you Spider-Man's You friend? understand that Doctor Who has so cool. lots and lots and lots and Come lots on, and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots. And that's the animated. The animated for sure is The Simpsons. For sure. Yeah? 
It also started. It also started in the. It also started in the '60s though, too, bro. So, so, like, like, uh, so if you do the math, they're they're pretty close. But uh, but one is definitely holding the throne for animated, and the other one is stopping whatever he has planned. Yeah, Doctor. Yuri, we need to start tracking the big boys. Still no leads on Octavius. No, nothing. Forensics can't even do a sweep of Times yes, Square. You. Everyone in that department but the intern is sick. I might be able Show's to turn terrible. something up. Let you know what I find. I don't like any. I don't like any of those crime-based shows. I'm. I'm pretty. Oh no! Like, no, if anything, that would be a reason I would watch it as Ice Tea. But um, ultimately, I. Uh, yeah, just not. <laughs> I love. I love punching in the air. King of the Ring. Suit power. Whoa, bro! Stop shooting at me. Available unit. Narcotics nail reported. Officers, please report to Lincoln. Yeah, 43 years, dude. Karate Joe, Doctor Who has been named TV's longest-running show after 43 years and 723 episodes, straight from the Guinness Book of World Records. Attention units, we have reports of multiple drive-by shootings. Additional officers needed in Times Square. Over. Simpsons has to be right up there. Spider Man, here to lend a hand. How how many? How well? Okay, that for, forty three. No, they're saying 40, 43, Guinness Book of World Records. They're, 43 years, whether that equivalates to seasons or not, I don't know. But if you do the math, it started in the 60s, we're in 2020. That is longer than 43 years. That is longer than 40. You're just going to have to fold and agree to disagree on this one, Joey. You can call the Guinness Book of World Records and argue with them if you'd like, but I don't know if, how far you're going to get doing that. Thought you might need one. Hey, hey, that, that, I mean, Cardi Joe may have made that up, too, but he's claiming that that's coming from the Guinness Book of World Records. So. Uh, let's see here. News reports say this is and I mean, how many episodes? I wonder how many. Let's let's find out how many episodes of The Simpsons are there. Is there more than seven hundred and twenty-three episodes of The Simpsons? I mean, I, I don't know. I'm asking. I mean, that, there could be a thousand. I mean, I it's been on TV for. I mean, you guys got to remember that I I I was around before Simpsons was. So like, I remember when it first came. Like, I was reading Matt Groening books before Simpsons was even on TV. So there you go. Bam! 673. So a, whole, a, a large number of less. Now, what about SVU? How many for SVU? Oh, hi, Jacob. Welcome to the stream. What's going Am I supposed to see something here? Mm. Hmm. Some residue on this side. Residue on a public yeah, object is. So pretty. Pretty substantial difference there as far as episodics. AT rich leader uh, All right, all right. So I do have the need for some of your visions here, Joey. Although we are not seeing eye to eye on episodes, I do need some guidance on one of these. Let's see here. That's not. I guess that's. There you go. Didn't think that one was far enough over, but it was. I, I, I would, when I, because I jumped in late. I jumped in about five years ago to start watching Doctor Who, more or less right before Lego caught on. Uh, and, and you can even see, because I was even right. Like, I, I'm, a, I'm a noob. I called the Palace of Vers Versailles. Isn't that what it is? Versailles? Palace of Versailles? I call it Versailles. <laughs> so, dude, I had no idea what I was talking about. Um, Yeah, I was headed, headed there. That was actually not a hard one, unlike some of the other ones. The other ones have been ridiculous. 
Oscorp's modified CPF one. Thank you, Tobias. Yeah, we were just clarifying that. Definitely six hundred. So close. Like I said, they're close. Like right. I mean, that's that's a lot. That's way more than like pretty much everything else. Uh, okay, so I gotta follow this trail. Is there a certain way to go, or do I go both ways? Oh, now it splits again? What the deuce? Vapor trail heads up that building. Trail jumps between these well, buildings. Because not everything you read on the internet is true. And there may be like some sort of stipulation to that, right? I mean, there's always stats on stats on stats on stats. So like, you know, it could be the longest running show on American TV versus British, right? Like, it could be longest running show uh, that doesn't have a side show. Or, you know, I mean, there, there's stats on stats, basketball, sport, everything. It's so crazy how things are these days definitely a lot okay there's the pipes where am i taking the pipes to okay so i can't get in there it's right over oh. okay wait a minute electric i see that yeah i'm kind of figuring that out i mean i i'm a noob when it comes to all this stuff but i, I look like it anyways Chaos of the prison break would have been perfect cover to move in. He needs to make his bed, man. Old man, you know that like uh, I've tangled with him more than anyone. Uh oh, here. no idea when I did it, but I pulled a rib muscle. Yikes! Well, stop sneezing. <laughs> Problem solved. Like that's easy to do, right, Kirsten? It's like stop breathing. Not gonna happen. Uh, like yeah, that sounds terrible. Did you crew. hear about the one group of moms who was upset over the burning heat? Oh, yeah, I did. And, and since then, if you've noticed, if you've noticed, I've used that word about a thousand times since that article. Like, <laughs> I, I don't find... Yeah, oh, yeah, like, like, they're upset because the new Burger King commercial uses the word damn. And, I, you know, I, I have never really seen that as a terrible word um you know there are versions of it that add vulgarity to it but even then i still have never seen it as a um you know like 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 reese has used that word for a while and it hasn't bothered me right like if he starts using some little more colorful words then then i then i don't approve you know and i i have my say or whatever but um I just I haven't I haven't seen that as an issue, but I mean to each their own. I mean I, you know, I have my own opinions on life and things, as do all of you. And uh, can I target that? I guess I can. Uh, you know, I personally don't have a problem with it. Uh, you know, and... Electro, total live wire that one. Well, he does all the time. That's like his, he did this, his favorite song, and I have to get on him all the time. I thought you insane. Pure energy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's been singing that for over a year now. The problem, I discovered a yeah. Way to give us yeah, that's what I don't get, too. Like, damn has I been one of those words that even, like, the FTC allows. Like, you know, for, for a long time, like, you could say, like, the S word or... You know, the, the, the B word, right? There was a few words that after 10 o'clock you could say. And I remember when I was like... 20 maybe even younger that was like a rule so like south park didn't come on until 10 o'clock because at 10 o'clock the rules got a little bit more lenient they could say and do things publicly verbally you know whatever and get away with more because of the rules so uh and, and you know our country as a whole is 100 percent desensitized to anything and everything oh, like pipe dream is to become i mean these kids the, the moms of, yeah, uh, of those the kids they're, they're probably the same moms that are in line to buy call of duty for their kids at the holidays and stuff right like that's a big assumption and i don't really know but i mean there's so much of that like so much picking and choosing of the battles like mm -mm. you know like I, like my wife she she means well but i don't understand some of the battles that like she chooses like and I apologize if this offends or, or strikes a chord with any of you guys. But, like, for example, when there is a business, like, let's say there's a place that you love to eat, right? I'm not going to get into details about it, but you'll, you'll put it together if you know. 
there's a place you like to eat. You've been going there for a few years because it's a new franchise to your area, and it's cool. Like, they make stuff. It's pretty quick. They deliver. They do all this stuff, right? Then you find out that the guy who created the very first one, not the one that owns the one you go to, but the one that created the franchise is a terrible person. Let's say, let's say it's mildly terrible, though. Like, maybe he's a big game hunter. Maybe he is a little bit of a racist, right? There are certain things that you don't line up with him on, right? Like, you may not agree with his stuff, but you like his food, right? So then you have to make the choice. Do you not go and support that? Because, But then, but then at the same time, you're, unfortunately, even though it's a franchise, it's still a local business. So by you not supporting that, you're boycotting maybe your neighbor's well-being right even so i have i have mixed emotions about that stuff now do i agree with what the owner is doing or the creator is doing not at all but i don't agree with a lot of the things that people of power do and i have very little control over it and it's just like the whole thing like a lot of people have this protest like when the oil stuff when the gas remember the gas prices were just like some days it was like four bucks and, and then it was like two bucks and then it was like seven like it was so ridiculous how much it was flexing and people were like, I know how to solve this. I know how to solve this. We just boycott gas. Friday, nobody get gas. Well, what does that solve? If nobody gets gas on Friday, but everybody drives on Friday, then people are gassing up either either Thursday or Saturday, right? So the amount of money going into the pockets of these people is exactly the same. The only difference is what day it's coming in on. Because everybody needs to drive that's driving, right? Everybody needs gas. Now, if you could say, I'm not going to drive at all, something here and I'm not going to get gas on Friday, and I'm not going to drive for a week, I'm going to ride my bike, and the world did that, and 90% of people who drive, that sticks it to them, right? But by not getting gas on a Friday, but getting it on a Thursday or Saturday, you don't get any, you don't stick it to anybody. Like, some of these protests, like, like now I'm missing out on uh, uh, food that I like because my wife doesn't want to support it. And, and of course, I, I don't want to go against the wife, like happy wife, happy life. So I support that. But, you know, we do have a little bit of conflict in that because I don't know if that's the right move. Because, again, if it's affecting the dude's pocket who is going out and doing the things that you don't like directly, which it might be. I mean, he probably gets a percentage of that franchise's income. But at the same time, like, like Joe and Susie. The Own it. Not numb nuts who does the stoop. Joe and Susie and Joe and Susie live in town and have kids that go to school with your kid. You know what I mean? So it's like it's a tough one for me because I understand the principle, but I, I don't think the action works like people think. Um, you know, again, without going into detail, there's a lot of people that that have very little interaction with the world. That, that a certain government you know, may do most of their business that. from in their house. A few days. I don't know who that would be. Uh, you know, but there are people that are in a situation like me that don't leave very often, that don't interact with people, that don't go to to protests or to town hall or uh, you know parent teacher nights or school events or things. They're not engaging in that kind of stuff to make it better. But but boy, are they sure a freedom fighter on the internet? You know, and like, I, I just don't understand. And some people get so caught up in their own BS that they don't realize that they're not actually doing anything. And like, you know, when you read, if you really like a video and you retweet it and then you tell everybody and then you go out, like you're helping spread the word, but like, really, are you doing anything? I don't, I don't it's tough, right? Like, and, and, but these people think they're like groundbreaking and they're changing the world. And it's like... You know, I, I just, it's hard, you know, and that's why uh, there's so many life choices right now that really affecting. What, what's going on here? There's absolutely nothing for me to examine. Um, you know, so I, I don't know. Where do you guys stand? Do you, do you guys, uh, like, like, if, like, for example, I mean, if you guys haven't figured out, I was talking about Jimmy John's uh, sandwiches. Um, you know, they, they, their, their owner has, has been known to, to do some things, and my wife, and, and, and like, I, I'm totally with my wife on it. Like, I, I'm not... I'm not into, like, you know, hunting for, you know, if, if you're going to eat and, that, and that's feeding your family and stuff, that's totally different. But if you are simply doing it for just to get a picture on Facebook and then you're leaving it for dead and blah, 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 that, that's, that's, that's cold. That's cold hearted, right? Like, that's very uncool, but, um, you know, it does not 
Let's see what Karate Joe says, but the guy who created it has nothing to do with the company anymore, so sorry, I don't see anything wrong to order. And, and that's where my conflict is, right? But my wife doesn't think that way, so I like, uh, oh that's just how it is. So I, I don't well, disagree with you, Karate. I, I think that's, targeting Osborne these past you know, if it was directly feeding and, and like, you know, like, like let's say it's, it's Jimmy John's and, and it is owned by a buddy or whatever. It's not a franchise and local for me. Then, then that does make a little bit of difference. I may not eat at that location or whatever. But it's just like the whole gas thing. Uh, you've never heard of Jimmy John's? They make sandwiches. They like Their big thing is they deliver on bikes. And they do it fast and fresh. So like basically they, 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 they find good locations that have lots of businesses around them. And then they can bicycle deliveries really quick. And so they, you should see it. It's crazy, Connie. When you go in, you order a sandwich. And every step of your sandwich has a different employee to, to do it. So, like, you order a whole wheat bun versus a white bun. There's a bun guy, right? That cuts the bun open, splits it in half, and tosses it and slides it down the line. Then the next person is your your condiments are you putting any you know mayonnaise mustard or whatever guacamole whatever it is on it the next person slides down the cheese next person is your meats and then the last person does the wrapping and ultimately there's two or three lines going down at a time so there's like there's like 15 or 20 people behind the counter of a jimmy john's whether there's one person ordering a sandwich or a hundred people ordering a sandwich. And then some of those people are just standing there. There's all, the, the guys that stand at the end of those lines, the production lines, the assembly lines. I mean, it's like a subway, but instead of one person working his way through the thing, it's like, boom, 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 boom. I mean, it's crazy. And then the guy at the end wraps them up and he gives them to the guy, stuffs them in a bag and they've got these like kind of cool like biking jerseys that they wear that are all jimmy johns and everything and they got the biking hats and they're all geared up like bikers and they get on their bike a little you know and they go right off and they deliver via bikes it's actually not a bad plan but again conflict with the the uh you know the habits of the owner or creator i should say all right what do i got here like Looks Otto's like it's you. They don't deliver on bikes. Here. Really? That's crazy. In Seattle, uh, Portland, Salem, everywhere they deliver. Everywhere. Yeah, and, and it's fresh. They make they make pretty good sandwiches. Like I had a favorite there that I really liked. It was turkey, avocado, and uh, you know tomato lettuce, and it was good. But just not uh, not something I've been able to eat in about two years. <laughs> <laughs> we have other places like Jersey Mike's, and I mean they make similar, if not the same thing. Collects his accolades and keeps his boot heel pressed against my neck. Why can't anyone else see how selfish? Where are you at, Tobias? How evil! I see the J in your name. I, I want to guess that you're probably somewhere like the Netherlands or you know somewhere up in that Sweden kind of. Uh, that's definitely prominent or dominant, uh, kind of that area. Um, you know, even Gray, Gray, Gray's neighborhood, Belgium. Uh, I, I feel like there's lots of J's and stuff. Like, uh, yeah, I have a cousin that's from the Netherlands, and his name is Grolof de Vries. Uh, so, like the D's, the D's, uh, lots of V's and J's come from that Matt neck Gargan, of the woods. AKA Scorpion. All right, so I, listen, a am I running circles right now? Have I already looked at all these? Because I've been like talking and like trying to play and talk and read chat all at the same time. Um, to some demanding individuals. So I'm sure it's. But once the reservoir. Okay. So I was close. Finished, I was close. Your financial obligations will be finished as well. Kinda. Otto Octavius is nothing if not persuasive. What's that? Scorpions Me? helping Otto in exchange for a clean slate. Criminal record expunged. I, I, Gambling so that there might be an exception to that one. So here's the thing. My wife isn't very current on current events. So if it doesn't like flap through her feed on Facebook, like she doesn't know about it. So like uh, in this particular case, apparently there's some other franchises that are local to us that have some issues too. And Joey's telling me, I, I had no idea. No knowledge of that. So I, I'm so far, I have not ran into that yet.
What's this now? Otto must have used this map to plan, but it's blank. Unless there's something here I'm missing. Well, sure, that was just a... It sounds like an employee, not like... It's not like a policy, right? I mean, like... Like, they don't have a sign on the wall. They don't have a sign on... Well, yeah, again, the manager, an idiot, right? I mean, there's plenty of managers that are idiots. They have no idea. They got their heads so far up. Whatever. I, I haven't heard, I've not heard any of that. Um, I just know in most Maybe cases, evil. like, there's plenty of cases of idiocracy, oh, if you will, you yeah. know, and like, I mean, I'm guilty of it, dude. I, I've had things where I've jumped to conclusions, man, and, and it's, I, I try not to anymore because... Be a way to get that lamp okay, on. Okay, I gotta get this lamp on somehow. Um, okay, follow the power, right? There's the power cord, but, okay. There it goes. All right, okay. There, and there we go. Um, there we yeah, go. you know, I, it's uh, tough stuff, man. Tough stuff. I, I you know, I, I, I'm working for Urgent Fury. You know, if you guys don't know what Urgent Fury is, feel free to look it up. It's an online gaming community. Uh, they host lots of big tournaments. Uh, they've been sponsored and, and been in cahoots with, like, Dr. Pepper and all sorts of people over the years. In fact, they even ran a $10,000 tournament at one point. Uh, that was right after my departure, right after Happy Thumbs had started. Um, and essentially, uh, I learned to deal to with the up. masses there. Uh, I had already been running a clan and had a bunch of people. Class. So managing and trying, managing people and trying to, um, you know, Why adhere to Oscorp certain ways, rules, uh, is he hitting first? Know, expectations, and but why? also like making sure that people get heard. Seems it's a like tough, it's, it's a tough line to walk. And ultimately, I, I, I'm pretty like sure um, that some form of that is why that we don't hear from Nick anymore. Um, I, I do believe that in some way I somehow let him down or offended reservoir. him, and I'm not sure of what that is or how I did it. So. Um, you know, I'm guilty of things like that all the, the time. The one thing that I like to Isn't say that I take pride in when it comes to that stuff is that if I make a mistake, I totally admit to it. Um, you know, and I've had I've had some really tough things. Uh, at some point, I really want to put together a video for you guys and, and share an experience I had where I got to go to a video game studio and, and be inside. I got to be a part of a tour. I got to play a game early. It was my favorite game of all time, SOCOM. I got to meet the people who I've known about for years. I've known they were developing. I know who Jeremy Dunham, I knew who Blade Higdon, I knew who all these people were. You know, Brian Soderbergh, the owner, like all these people that were part of Zipper, I knew who they were. David Sears. I mean, I, I, I could just keep going. Like I was obsessed, I this and thing is. I got to get in there, and I'm, I'm, I made a mistake, and and I won't go into full details because it, it would this ruin the story it. for later. Hello, but essentially, Bobby, I got we thrown out. Like I was grabbed uh, by the shirt and escorted no. out of the building. No joke. Like to secure the anti -serum. as a strong person who has a lot of pride in everything huh? like <laughs> like i was distraught like i immediately threw up my flag and was like i miss i messed up i'm so sorry like this is what happened it's not as bad as you think and if you give me just five minutes to explain myself i will do my best to fix this and please do not hold them accountable please do not punish them for my mistakes because i was actually there under the care of urgent fury and so yeah it was a big deal and i had to i had to put in my resignation to urgent fury and uh, you know, all sorts of stuff it was crazy and i mean to be somebody of like i mean i was pretty well known because i was an admin of tournaments i created the tournaments i made the content like people had to submit their stuff to me so like 500 to 1,000 people were part of this community, and, and I was, you know, probably like 10th in command or 15th in command, or if you want to look at it like that, right? Um, so there was a lot of people that knew, and so when I stepped down, everybody knew about it. It was a big debacle, and ironically, I, I tried to leave, and they said, no way, no way. You're not quitting on us. Like, we'll get through this. Like, the fact that you're willing to acknowledge your mistake and the fact that you have rectified and tried to make it good with all of us and with the development studio just shows that you are worthy and deserve to be here. And I was like, whoa. You know, so I mean, sometimes 
taking the low road, which is usually the truth, uh, you know, there's always always benefits to that. Uh, you can't go wrong telling the truth, even if you did wrong. All right, so I got to fight this dude. I am not sure what is happening. I know I got to dodge his attacks, but um, it says, okay, so I've got terrible aim. Not me specifically, but Spider-Man. I'll be that. All right. But yeah, I actually have footage of the day I was at the studio inside. So, like, there's, like, photos of me out front. There's video footage of me inside interviewing some of the developers um, and, and playing. Um, I do believe we have footage of, like, the actual press event, too. I can't remember uh, all what we got to record and what we didn't. Um, I guess just realized I'm supposed to take out that guy now. All right. Um, but I'd love to share that with you guys. The quality of the video is kind of low. The camera I had was awesome. I, I actually had a camera crew follow me there. Uh, big, nice, boom, and everything. And um, But I uh, was... Uh, it was super dark. Everything was done in a very low lit room. The intention of what we were doing wasn't uh, to, to be on video. I mean, they approved it and let us do it, but the intention was to beta test the game and check that out. Oh, whoa. Okay, so I gotta do something with this guy now, too. Okay, so I think I did what I was supposed to do there. Next time you're mine! Copy that. Boom. All right. What was the mistake? Well, all right. So, <laughs> basically, it, it's actually, like, you can't make this stuff up. Like, this this is something you'd actually, like, see or hear in a movie. Um, I actually, as you guys know, I ran a clan. Um, and my, uh, I had a clan member that, uh, what's going on here? He uh, he had been messaging me while I was at the studio, and I sent a picture of me standing out in front of the logo, you know, of the studio. And uh, I I'm not kidding. The, the guy took that photo of me standing out in front of the studio, went directly to the Sony-owned forums who own SOCOM, and uh, said that he was me and that he was at the studio for media day. What? I don't know. We're turning the mission. Um, and so he ended up uh, getting on the forums and like fighting with some people on the Sony-owned forums saying that he was inside, he was playing the game, he was telling them all this stuff. Now, in all fairness, all I ever told him was... I got to play the game for about a half an hour, and it had some feel of the old game, but also had some new school feel to it. That's like all I said. I didn't say anything else. And he took that information and was like, oh, there's gonna be these vehicles, there's gonna be these people, this is gonna be like that, and, and all this stuff. And then he was arguing like, oh, if you don't believe me, like, look, I'm here, in there right now. Well, somebody caught wind of it, and somebody at Sony Forum saw this happening, contacted the people at Zipper and and they were told, hey, you have a, an insider right now that is outside giving tons of information to people and it's not true, but he's there. You need to find him. And there's even a photo of the guy so you can identify him. And they had the photo of me and were able to identify me. And so they came and grabbed me and pulled me out. Now there's more to the story than just that. Um, but... Uh, yeah, that's the gist of it. And so they eventually let me explain myself. I told them what was going on. I told them who it was. I told them everything. And they actually let me come back in. And they kind of like, you know, supervised me. Uh, luckily, the developer that I had been with, though, because uh, they basically assigned me to a guy. And they were like, um, you know, you need to stay with him. He'll be your point of, you know, your guide, basically. And um, uh, he... Uh, he actually stood up for me. He was like, look, uh, I've been with him the whole time. He has not been on his phone. He's actually been asking questions, really good questions. He's even been videotaping it, so you can even see the videotape too. Uh, so, you know, basically I, I got out 
you know, and, and like I said, I had to offer my resignation for Urgent Fury, and luckily they didn't accept it, and I got to stay, but, alright, I am, I think I'm losing this battle right now. I don't know what I'm really supposed to be doing. I mean, as, do I go after Electro? I mean, I've been basically fighting, what's his name here? Get over here, buddy. Come on. Need to catch my breath. Take over, Electro. Okay, so that dude's out for a minute, huh? Come on, come on, hey, come on. Really? I'm just getting totally hosed here. I, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. I thought I was supposed to web this guy up, but my my guy is not flinging spider webs anywhere near that. Oh, ouchies. There we go. So I was, I was just doing it wrong. You're doing it all wrong. Anybody know what movie that's from? Ooh. Yeah, it was quite the day, dude. Quite the day. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, uh, like as a human being, I felt terrible uh, as... As a gamer, I felt like I had backstabbed and betrayed everybody I knew. Uh, like, I mean, I was, like, in tears. I was like, just let me explain. Like, is that's not what you think? I swear. Like, I mean, I didn't know what to do. Like, I'd never been in anything quite like that. Like, nobody had ever tried to be me before like that. Like, perpetrating, it was kind of crazy. Ah! Yoink. As usual. Next time you're mine. Get him. Next time you're mine. Oh, ouchies. So is there one of those things again, or what's going on? Well, it just told me something. I didn't see what it said, though. Which way did he go? Which way did he go? Did hurt. I'm getting destroyed. So what? Okay. What is happening? No, I don't want to abandon the mission, but I wish you would tell me what the hell I'm supposed to be doing right now. Like this is absolutely ridiculous. Am I supposed to dodge? Am I supposed to fight? Am I supposed to take something out? Like I, I've hit these. I, I have. Well, okay, where is he though? I cannot find Electro anywhere. All I see is, okay, now I see his beam at the bottom. I did not, I was looking all over for one of those, and I could not find one. Get it, get it. And I keep, I mean, I don't know how many times I've pounced on this dude. Oh, come on. So maybe I have to do the electro first. Now, okay, boom. Now I finally got him. Bam. Bam. Just fight them, that's all Tobias says. Well, there's clearly an order here, and I was not doing it right. So hopefully this will be the end right here. Too many. Tonight will be your last. Yes! Man down. Man down. I guess he's not really a man, but... Yeah, it's more like a bird down. Bird down. What's happening? Electro's been grounded. Spider-Man, I presume. 
If you really cared about this city, you'd be helping me expose Osborne for the criminal he is. By killing Who out there has done your PlayStation wrap-up for 2019? I have all the help I need, and we will not stop until Norman Anybody? gets what he deserves. I did mine, and I will be sharing it with you guys later today. That's actually what the bonus video is. Um, I, I, I haven't finished it yet. It's still a work in progress. I hope to get it done uh, sooner than later. But, uh, you know, I've got Blazer Game. It is Reese's birthday today, too. So, uh, But he does have bowling, so it's like I'm not going to have a lot of time to even see him. He's got school until 2.30, gets home about 2.45, leaves for bowling at 3.10. So he's only home for about 25 minutes. Um, and then he doesn't get home till, from bowling until about 5.30 or 6. Um, and as I mentioned, he gets rides, so like I don't, I'm not escort, I'm not around him. But once he gets home at 6, I will definitely be oh, um, you know, hanging out and doing stuff, birthday cakes and probably all that. Uh, have you saw the games with Apex? I have seen that they updated it, and they do have a handful of modes. I think there's seven, five or seven different new modes. Uh, temporary for the next two weeks. We are actually going to check them out tomorrow. So, uh, you know, Joe, we will be needing a third. If you're going to be around and you want to join the stream, we could probably make that happen, at least for part of it, if not all of it. Uh, I did get to defeat Electro and Vulture Trophy. Grounded. So that is nice. Need to update Yuri. Um, all right. Yuri. Let's see here. We've been at Electro it for three hours. Down. I'm going to take a real quick go. break to drain the I tank. Uh, I'm going to be right back, and then we're going to go at it for... Exploded. Probably another what half an hour. Uh, I don't think we'll do any more uh, of the, the story. The we'll probably go and try to take out a couple of Sable Vulture outposts, if not all of them. Plans. It looks like Scorpions there's going one. Water treatment. Not sure about Rhino yet. Area. Something along the shoreline. One. That's good so enough to start. One there. I assume you're going one after there's three. Yeah. City's already on the brink. One there. If we lose clean water, we might never come back. Uh, did I'll that one already? None there. None there. All right. Sable crimes and I see wild posts. All right. So yeah, there's a trophy for that one. It looks like I could do the uh, one, two, three remaining sable outposts, and I should. I mean, it might unlock more, of course, but uh, that should, hopefully will get me the trophy. All right. So uh, yes, I will be right back, you guys.
am back. Hey, I was just looking at some of the chat too. I noticed that uh, karate. You mentioned uh, something about Erna. Was it karate? Let's see here. Somebody said easy fix. Just leave your phone in the car. Um, yeah, it was karate. So in regards to that, so I sent the picture to him before I had even gone in. So I, I, I like took a photo when we were gearing up, getting my mic on and getting all ready to go, right? Like, uh, cause I had a personal mic and then we had a guy that was, that, well, the cameraman had like a microphone with a boom mic on it too. But, um, anyways, uh, I was doing all that and I took the photo and I, it's like the infamous picture. I'm like out front, like eh, wearing my where's Waldo nice shirt that I have. And that's red and white stripes if you're not catching the joke. And anyways, um, so I, this stuff had been going on. Like I hadn't even told him anything about the game. I hadn't even seen the game yet or anything when he got the photo. And halfway through the day, we had a lunch and we went out to lunch. And that's when I had sent one text and it just said, he'd sent me 20 messages while I was inside because my phone was off. Uh, I got outside, meet, 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 you know, and I'm like, oh, crap. And so he was asking all these questions and I didn't answer any of them specifically. Like I said, all I told him was uh, I did get to play it. The game does have a true SOCOM feel and it also has some new additions. That's like all I said. That's all I said. And so once I showed them my phone and my response, they were like, oh, okay. You know, and then that's when things started getting easier for me. But uh, still, it sucks. Like, you know, I've been in some, <laughs> some unfortunate situations and I have always been one to take accountability for my actions. You know, I uploaded the video. They got me in trouble for Grand Theft Auto 5. Not Jeremy, not Doug, not Mark, not anybody that was helping at the time. Me. You know, I didn't blame it on anybody. I did get bad advice from my multi-channel network partner, but um, that's besides the point. Great way to win hearts and minds. Can you get them out? It'll take some persuasion, but I'm a pretty persuasive guy. Hi, Drex. Did you eat your dentist stick already? That's a good boy. Hi, buddy. Hi. I love you. I'm almost done for today, and then I can go take you outside and we can do things. But right now, you've got to let me finish, okay? All right, I'm getting way too many dudes here. All right, let's get web bomb. Let's go. Oh, those guys don't get affected by it. Okay, that's right. Woo! Bunch of guys. Oh, take that. Throw five jet. I can't turn it down. Come on, okay. I don't know what I just did there. That was fun. I was trying to do, but... 
Cause I gotta throw, I gotta throw these guys while I'm in the air, but it's wrapping them up, but it's not doing what I need it to do. Gotcha. What is the suspension matrix? I haven't done that guy yet. Oh. That's cool. Oh, that's way cool. Hmm. Guys, peeving me off way over. Oh, come on. Oh, he's already dealt with. Never mind. It's tough to tell sometimes. Look, if you guys are going to keep showing up like this, it's just polite to call first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here. By authority of the mayor, you are now arrested. Yeah, I can't. For some reason, I can't get it unless it must be a skill that I'm not. so good tastes so good make you want to slap your old mama <laughs> I see you. I'm not ignoring you. You will get lots of attention as soon as the stream is over. I have not said my goodbye yet. You know what? When it's bye time, then it's your time. He's totally just like laying his chin on me. I've been sleeping. Now I'm awake. I 
Hey, buddy, I do love you. Go lay down. We'll hang out in a minute. Booyaka shao. Come on, get around the corners. You're Spider-Man. You can't walk around a crate. And scene. And scene. There is a side. Oh, this is just the completed, huh? Yeah. Don't well, you need help with that? He pushed his bone under the entertainment center. I'll get it for you. Got the people out of the cells. They don't seem inclined to continue their protest. I hate that Sable's violating constitutional rights, but right now, I'll settle for keeping innocent people out of lockup. Thanks. <laughs> He's got that big bone. He's just throwing it around. Boom, boom, boom. So, oh, is my health good now? Is it all full, or is, do, do I need to like do something to get it up? I just can't see down. Okay, there's nothing there. Yeah. So. Yeah, I, I figured that was the case. I just couldn't be sure because it wasn't showing. What show are you talking about, Gray? A cartoon with animals and it's hilarious. Um, I'm not seeing one there. What's missing a comment? Oh, yeah, I, I've yeah, I've heard of it before. I've seen a little bit. That's what I was gonna ask you. I'm fine, but you and May are in the middle of it. Sweet dreams. Hi, Drax. Uh, yeah, I'm right here. Yuri, Look at him. You see him jumping up on me? Like he's ready to go do something. What they're charged with, and I don't want to let dangerous people. I'll finish this sable outpost, Drex, and then I'll call it good. Okay, buddy. The people they hold on site haven't done anything. They can make a case over. I can think of at least two amendments that violates. Okay, looks like I'm staging a jailbreak. Yoink down ten enemies, huh? These guys still don't even know I'm here yet. Let me, uh, let me surprise this guy. Sorry about your luck, bro. Lady night. Is that truck not? Okay. Perform five stealth takedowns. We're getting there. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. So much for getting five stealths. So, originally we were told he was a German Shepherd Beagle. Um, we have been told that he is not Beagle whatsoever. Um, we have not done a DNA test on him. We were actually talking about this a couple of nights ago. We want to do it. It costs about 100 bucks to do. We just need to do it. Um, and uh, what we have been told he is, is a German Shepherd with a Australian Red Healer. Um, whether or not that is accurate, we're not 100% sure either, but if you look up like an Australian healer, um, it looks just like Drax, and then you add 
you know, a little German Shepherd in there with the big, bigger paws, and then the, um, the, uh, you know, the, the brown snout or the dark snout. Definitely a, a, a trait seen in a lot of German Shepherd heritage. Um, so, uh, we're not 100% sure, but, uh, they, uh, they tried to sell us off that he was a beagle and he wouldn't be... He, no way he'll reach 40 pounds. No way. Well, he's like 46 or 47 pounds last time we weighed him, and that was like a month ago. So it's quite possible that he's more in the, you know, 50-pound range. Now, our vet, the first time we took him in, he said I would I would expect around 50 to 55 pounds. Um, just based on his size, his teeth, his paws, all the factors that they take into that. And, uh, it's a Scooby-Doo. So, you know, I, I uh, it's hard to say. We'll, we'll uh, at some point we'll know for sure. Uh, but right now we're kind of leaning on the Australian healer and German shepherd uh, theory. That gets crazy. Like, it's the color, the redness, the, uh, you know, the ginger, if you will, that, um, that is definitely sticking out as... Uh, something that's not a beagle trade for sure and definitely a, a healer you know australian healer australian red healer to be specific so uh blazers played the other night and won that was kind of weird weird feeling. I'd kind of almost forgotten what it was like to win. Uh, on a brighter note for me and my future of my team, we uh, we are only a couple of weeks away from getting one of our players back that brutally broke his leg last year. He was having the best season of his career, and he broke his leg on a fluke play. So they've already come out and said that the leg is fully healed. They're not worried about any slow injury or anything other than muscle mass being built for the leg that was broken. Because when you put it in a cast and you're rehabbing, there's definitely, um, you know, loss of muscle mass. So um, they're working on that, getting that built up, and then they'll probably get him into what they call game shape. Uh, just making sure he's active and ready to play because although you can run every day, you can play basketball every day, when you play in an NBA game or even college or any kind of professional environment, uh, you know, you definitely have to give it your all fully, and, and that takes a lot out. So, um, you know, there's a lot of guys that come back from injury that take a week or three to get into what they call game shape. So, uh, you know, it's, it's slowly happening, but they expect him to be back by all-star break, and... He is a large reason why teams are able to score on us down low and why we're not getting as many rebounds. Uh, we have another guy that's doing an excellent job, and I'm not trying to discredit him, but, I mean, they're, it, that's two very different style of players that play the same position. Um, and uh, one is seven foot and, like, probably two, 250. The other one's, like, seven foot one and, like, 300. So it's very different body type and, and style of play. And it just so happens that the guy is, like, really good with our main leader, our point guard. So, uh, And the new guy hasn't done bad, but it's definitely not the same. Our old guy is tenfold way better. They just click better. They're, just, they're like brothers almost. They know each other inside and out, and everything's different. And, and um, so uh, I can't wait. Our, our our streak of losing consistently is about to come to an end. Uh, not to say that we're gonna not ever lose or anything, but we got uh, we got an official power forward now, which we didn't have the last time we had when we had him, and we got to the Western Conference Finals using him, and now we've got basically improved a spot that we were lacking. And once we get him back and healthy, we'll be in better shape. We still have two other two other guys that are really crucial to our success that are success, not excess. Success that are hurt and are going to be hurt for a while still, but um, you know, one of them coming back is going to be huge for us. Yusuf Nurkic, the Bosnian beast. That's what they call him. He is he is a beast too, for realsies. Using 
Hello. Oh. Get that bone. Get that bone. Okay, so there's definitely bad guys over there. Ooh, I've got one out here too. What's up, buddy? Oh, where are you going? <sighs> Don't let him web you. Oh, what was my. I, I haven't even really paid attention to my challenges. I should be definitely paying more attention to that. Uh, I did one or something there. How do I tell? Was that it right there? Yank down 10 enemies, perform... Ah, uh, dang it. That's right. Keep them on the Maybe I can sneak away for a minute. i lose them. Hi, buddy. Hi. Told you, as soon as I finish this one, we're almost done, dude. We're almost done. So is that... Is there actually a guy over here? Is it just that? That should be considered a stealth attack. Okay, there he is. Let's see if I can sneak up on him and get him. At least get one bonus. Yeah, I see you, buddy. I see you. Licking my hand isn't going to change anything. I, pre I appreciate the love. I appreciate the love. I think that might be it. I think that might be it, buddy. Seriously? How else did you think that would end? Oh, buddy. I think I just got to pull the trigger here on these guys. Yes, we're level 49. All right. Sable Outpost. Co -co 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 complete. Boy, so we jumped a fair amount of percentage today. Um, like, quite a bit. Hi. I hear you. I'm not ignoring you. Please don't ignore me. Ig not ignoring you. Um, as you guys can see, I have a puppy who is ready to uh, proceed with the rest of his day. <laughs> and although we have had uh, a little bit short of a stream, um, it's uh, that was actually kind of part of my plan today. So, uh, hey, want to thank Joey for being in my ear and helping me out. Congrats to him on completing this game and getting the platinum. Uh, I will be there soon enough. I want to give a large shout out to everybody in the chat that hung out with us, even just for a minute or two or the entire stream. You guys mean the world to us. You're what makes this whole thing go around. We wouldn't be able to do this without you. So really appreciate all of that. We will be back tomorrow. Uh, looks like we're going to be playing Apex on the Mature Channel. So hope to see you there. 10 a.m. as per usual. And then Friday, we'll be back with Fast Fridays for some Burnout Paradise. So make sure if you do have it, you let us know and if you're available. Otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow. You guys know the drill. Head on over to any of our social medias. They can actually be found down below in the video description or right here. If you got good memory, feel free to click hey, or go there. Okay? And uh, yeah, as for me, that is going to wrap things up. As always, until next time. So yeah.